114. Yeah. The kids are going to go off and do amazing things. They're going to become inventors and create things that will change the world. And one wants to be a nature person. One wants to be a biologist. I don't know what one of those is. Um, like a like a like a sciencey person. Like and, an Lexi. And, and, and you know what they said? They said there was there was this elf we saw and, and she inspired us to love nature. And I think it's you. You've done so well. So you need to give them the money and the chance and the opportunity to live a full nature future. And hello, welcome back, 2022. Welcome to Lose Your Dice. My name is Matt Bayman. I am your Game Master slash Dungeon Master for this evening. Uh, it's great to see you. And we are joined once again by the splendid Sasha Burgoyne, yeah. the glorious Guy Samuels, the regal Rose Redon, the charming Cheryl Berniston, and David. First <laughs> <laughs> of his name, Roller of Queens, Lord of the Edgy Vampire Boys, Duke David Cox. How you doing this evening, mate? Uh, that, very good, thank it's you. It's good. It's good. I I was, you had me going. I did. I did. I did. Subvert I expectations. Get up That's what tonight's away. all about. Yeah. You, you, you could get up and just walk away. Yeah. No, why would you do that? I don't know. No. <laughs> Maybe it's just, just like David. <laughs> yeah, right. You never, you never just David. No, I no, thought no, it was no, very funny. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You would. Sarge has a great has a great sense of humour. Um, yeah, no, we've been off for a little while. Uh, don't actually know when this is going up yet, but it's good good to see you. Good to be back. Um, yeah, we're not going to hang around too much. But one thing, one thing we changed a little bit with the intros, um, rather than a, a fun facts thing, uh, because we love rolling dice here. Uh, what I'm going to do is oh, I'm we're really good at it. And we're well, so we good speak. At it. Feels, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm partly roller of twenty, so you know. <laughs> I'm going to roll a d6, and depending where it lands, uh, said person it uh, allocates to, so one, two, three, four, five, or six, gets to ask anyone else at the table any question about the character, as long as it's not too like deep and dark. Uh, yeah, anything they want to know. So you could also ask me something about an NPC, and I will let you know. Keep it light, keep it fun, uh, and completely make it up on the spot. So, starting with, that is a two. Hey. Guy Samuels, uh, the floor is yours. Ooh, okay. Pressure. Uh. <laughs> Definitely did you not lie awake uh, desperately trying to yeah, yeah. I should have prepped the question. Yeah, yeah. Should have prepped the question. Um, um, I prepped him about five seconds ago. Just yeah, same. <laughs> like, so I know exactly what I'm doing. It's okay. okay, I have one. Um, Alexi, have you ever been in love? And if so, who with? That was mine. <laughs> mine was way sillier than that. So. <laughs> uh, d d d d does it count if it's a book? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> No, I like the question. Read ever again. Does, does, <laughs> a counter question. Do you really think Alexi has any experience of romance ever? Yeah, but I don't. I, I, I feel like you can be in love with someone, and even without. You, like, can, yeah. like you can experience love. Um, you know, you can, you can lo lo love, love your mother, for example. You don't have to, it but you're not in love, love with your mother. Love. Yeah, that's different. Well, speak for yourself. But, uh, <laughs> I, I am going to. Just to clarify, <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> with. <laughs> no, Alexi has never been in love. Okay. Does Alexi know that he's never been in love? Does he think he's been in love? No. I no. That's the second he question. He knows. Yeah, I'm like, following he, up. Has, so he hasn't. He knows he hasn't. Does he want to be? Does he Does he feel like he should be in love? Oh, no. There's a question which I <laughs> am going to decline to answer. Oh, yeah. boring. Do you want me to actually? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. That's, that's yeah. fine. My intro's done. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that, cool. I guess the intro's done. So, strap yourselves in. We got a few cool things happening tonight. Uh, and let's go for episode nine. Of who lives who dies. Do we have cool things happening tonight? So, having arrived safely in the makeshift settlement surrounding the Painted Maze, 
Our friends have taken some much needed time to rest and shop their way through the many merchants. After stocking up on new supplies, our party have splintered into smaller groups for the evening, conscious that their time in the area may be limited, with locals potentially noticing Alexi's ancestry. With the late evening now upon us, D22 is tinkering with his new purchases, Alexi and Myla are exploring new avenues in chemistry, and Saskia is turning in for the evening, mulling over the note she had been slipped earlier that day. Meanwhile, as Maywei began to make her way back into the town, the familiar voice of Sarek had crept into her head, antagonizing her and thanking the Snow Hell for her indirect service against the one she had been searching for. Maywei, having received this message from Sarek, what would you like to do? Um... Can I reply to this message? You can reply to this message. <sighs> I, I take a second, kind of, un, like, thinking about what's happening. I'm, just, I'm sorry. You said I helped you? Do you mean uh, that I lied to one of your idiots and got them in trouble? Yeah. Oh. So manage your power. That sounds so terrifying. I'm sure there's no way that we could ever defeat someone as well ingrained as you with such smart people working for it. And that's it. There's a pause. I oh, know he doesn't fucking send a message. And a couple message. of beats. And another beat. And he doesn't reply. He doesn't reply. Excellent. Cool. What would you like to do? <laughs> well, I just stopped eavesdropping on uh, these two. So, yeah, when, when we'd left, so Saskia had gone to bed, and as you were walking away, not, not too far behind Saskia, that's when the ping had, the message had pinged into your head. Uh, I'm just going to go to my room, I think I'm sharing with yep. Saskia and Dee. Yeah, I'm just going to go to my room and... <sighs> and ruminate as to what to do. Cool. And go to sleep. So, yeah, Maywe walks in, Saskia, and you've just come in yourself. What, what yep. would you like to do? I'm going to bed. You're going straight, straight I'm to bed? I'm going straight to sleep. Straight to sleep? Yep. Cool. All right. You hunker down? Yep. You see... You hear the pipes uh, in the tavern go through as new plumbing's installed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maywe, you walk in and see Saskia's already in bed, half passed out. Yep. Yeah. I go to sleep. You go to sleep. Cool. And you turn up for the evening and begin a long rest. D22. Mm -hmm. In the tavern, still mucking about with the spanner on your arm. What would you like to do? Um, I don't need to sleep, do I? Um, but I can still get the benefit of a long rest. You, you would still need you still need to rest, get back any spell slots or any abilities, but if you want to keep tinkering in the, in the meantime. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be um, very quietly to myself tinkering away with my items. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to miss out on a sleep, so if I, could, I, I guess I will. Um, do I have to go to sleep now to get the full rest? Or uh, you would need a, you need a full eight hours to, to get the benefit, yeah. So it's, it's roughly about getting close to like 9, 30, 10 p.m. at this at this point. So it's not it's not too late as far yeah. as things go. He's, having, he's, 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 he's on to something. So another hour of tinkering. Sure. He's sort of going to get his head down and make sure he gets a nice full eight hours for cool. the morning. In case cool. of any spells. And as the tavern sort of empties out, um, this thing sort of carry on. Yeah, you tinker away quite quite happily into the night. And then after a while, so the last few patrons are, are wrapping up. You turn in for the evening. Great. And what about you two? Uh, well, I imagine um, they are just kind of sat there going over all the uh, equipment that they picked up from Solomon, and um, Alexi will be going through the uh, uh, nature almanac with my like, oh, um, so uh, my, and I, 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 I don't quite uh, f follow what these are exclusively used for, but I know that that, that, that one is poisonous, and uh, that one can be used as a sort of Salve, so if you... Uh, yeah, but that, everyone knows that. Right. Sorry. No, no, it's, it's, it's quite all right. You, you're, you're probably going to know more about um, certain na nature sciences than I, I would. It, it, it's not my field. Yeah, I, I just never knew it was really a science. I thought it was just one of those things, you know, you, you know what berries to eat and what not to eat, and you know what stuff to put on cuts and scrapes and grazes, and it, no? Uh, well, uh, yeah, sort of, uh, yes. Now, the, the, the actual science behind it is quite fascinating. So in uh, sort of uh, earlier times before uh, healing potions were more uh, commercially available, uh, you, you would use the certain um, 
the herbs that are the base reagents, and those would be used with a sort of bandage. Uh, whereas now, due to sort of a magical influence and so on and so forth, one can uh, dilute the core reagents into other sort of liquids, and that is how we have uh, he healing potions. Oh, so that's the science. I just used to do the bandages bit. Right. Yes, the, the, the science comes from the, uh, the application to, uh, it, it's essentially taking the, the more beneficial qualities and uh, rooting out the, uh, the, 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 the pointless ones. Ah, there's not that many pointless plants about, you know. No, but objectively certain things like leaves don't really do very much on a lot of plants. They're so good for setting fire to things. <laughs> Dry leaves, brilliant. Um, r r right. So I've spent the last hundred years, more or less, exclusively in libraries, and uh, fire is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's basically a room full of dry leaves, isn't it? it y yes. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway, well, hey, there you go. Leaves, not pointless. You can write on them, read them. Yeah. Mm -mm. Right. Yes. We'll we'll work on this. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. We, well, though we'll need to find some kind of mentor. Uh, also, I need to start worrying about food. I am getting quite hungry. Oh yeah. Um. Do you need us to help with that at all? Um. A bit. Okay. Yes. I'm. I'm very aware now that we we, we have to be very careful here. Uh. I'm going to start feeling. Uh, I will start weakening quite soon. I'm afraid. Um. Yes. Do you need person or would animal suffice for now? Animal can suffice. I, I'm hesitant to... Uh, Do you have to kill it? If it's within a minute or so, it should be all right. Okay. We could just go out to the forest and go find a deer. Right now. If, if you wanted. Uh, it just seems a little... Light, don't... Oh, well, no, you need less sleep than I. You don't really sleep. Um, it's an idea. Might be a bad one, especially if everyone else is doing their own sleeping and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, everyone else is asleep. That is true. Yes, and we did get very angry about that last We did. Time. Um, do <laughs> you need it now or could it wait till morning? It can wait until morning. Well, then we'll just do that in the morning. Great. Lovely. And also that will look totally normal because it's pretty normal for people to go out hunting. Like that's, that's fairly regular, right? I, uh, so I'm told. Okay. Right. You've never been out hunting either. Like, but, but, but you eat, oh. My lo I'm very, very rich. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you do? Uh, well, I read books and I experimented on myself. All the time? Well, yes, do you have any idea how difficult it is to understand ancient blood curses or gifts and so on? And how many years have you been working on that? Ooh, I started... Sorry, birthdays stopped meaning a thing after a while, as I'm sure you know. Um, I was, I think I was about 20-something when I began, and, um, well, I'm not that anymore, so... So you've spent... I can't quite remember how old you're... Like, over a hundred years. Almost a hundred years. A hundred years or so looking into this. Yes. And how much progress have you made? Um, well, I, quite a fair bit, I suppose. Okay. A hundred years worth of progress? Well, it's difficult to define what a hundred years worth of progress is when it's never been done before. That's fair. Look at Lila's the shady. <laughs> <laughs> Just your life's work. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. No, it's. I just, I, just, I was just wondering. You know, maybe, maybe sometimes actually the answer to things could lie in experiences of other things and using that knowledge in order to inform the context of what it is you're trying to understand. Oh no, you are completely accurate, and uh, that is one hundred percent correct. Uh, I, my abilities have uh, developed much quicker, having taken a more active role in literally controlling people. Hmm. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, it's, that is a bit weird. We should look into that. I do actually need to, but that's a conversation for a later time. Um, 
Yes. But what about you? Your abilities are, are more sort of focused around nature and the elements, it appears to be. Mm-hmm. It seems to be that way. And where did that come from? Was there any sort of training or did it just... No, it just came from nature. Yes, as, in, as far but, as I can tell. But ha, have you always been able to do it? Yeah. Hmm. No sort of formal education? No, well, I had, I had education, but not in that. Then what were you educated in? Oh, um, well, I sort of looked at a few different, like, departments and things, um, and none of them really stuck. Uh, I've done, done a lot of training around, like, scouting and hunting and um, that sort of thing as well. That's probably the most fun bit um, of the education part. I didn't really get on with all the sitting and listening and learning. And how did Cyril come to be about? Oh, I sat really, really still in a forest for, oh, a while um, around a bunch of squirrels and they all kind of got used to me slowly and over several months um, of sitting really, really still and being really quiet and slowly starting to kind of, you know, really get to know them and understand and, you know, have the occasional sort of chat with them, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, he just decided he wanted to stick with me. Fair enough. I, I like, so he's just going to give the squirrel a bit of a yeah. He nuzzles. He's, like, yeah. he's, he's pretty short, you know, so he just comes yeah. up. And, cool. Cool. He's, he's not mine. He just... Uh, I mean, I can't get rid... It's, it's not that I can't get rid of him, but is it like he's, he's sort of just... <laughs> you know what I mean, Cyril. There's, he, he just comes along. Like, I haven't told him to or asked him to. He just... It's his own thing. If he wants to leave, he can. Mm. I, I know you don't want to leave, and I know that you wouldn't leave because it would be really unsafe for you at the moment. But like, if you if you were like, I don't I don't know what a squirrel voice sounds like in person. Um, <laughs> you can cast speak with animals and find out. <laughs> oh my god, do it! Yes, no, don't do it. I like saying that. Matt's, Matt's squirrel <clears throat> voice. Um, fortunately for Matt, I don't think I have it prepared. Uh, did, um, didn't you say you could <laughs> speak with animals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that would just. Ask him then. I can't do it right now. Oh. Well, I have to sort of. You know, how I said I had to sit really still and, you know, get the squirrels to kind of befriend me and understand me and be comfortable with me. Yes. It's sort of like that with all abilities as well. I have to sit and get the abilities comfortable with me. Ah. Fair enough. Um, when 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 you do, may I observe? Yeah. Sure. Lovely. It might be a bit boring. I, it, it's furthering my understanding of things. It's Okay. Is it normally interesting to just sit and stare at people as they sit very still and quiet? I more meant when you are actually conversing with him. Oh, not when I'm doing the conversing with nature part, the bit when I'm talking to Cyril. Yes. Right, yeah. Yeah, cool. Sure. Wonderful. I don't know what that even really looks like from the outside. Science. Science. <laughs> also... Can we please cut you so we can find out if my healing spells work on you? Wow, wow you just came out and said that. Um, you just asked me if you could watch me talk to a squirrel. That, uh, that's not a same thing. <laughs> um, all, all, all right. Uh, do you want to do it? Shall I do it? Up to you. Do you trust me or you more with some sort of cutting implement? Well, objectively, <laughs> I use my own blood to um, power my magic pretty much extensively. Seems like you're probably quite familiar with it then? Yes, but I'm not sure if that will have any uh, bearing on the experiment. Mmm, interesting. You could do both. I can heal you twice. Uh, but, well, I suppose it's in the name of science. Um, yes, <laughs> alright. Uh, and Alexei pulls off the um, glove on the non-bandaged hand. Mm -hmm. Just like, um... You first or me first? Uh, you first. Maybe pick a bit of you you don't like care about too much, just in case. <laughs> oh, this hand is normally <coughs> left, so... Okay, right, go for this it. One. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like she so just brings out the nothing else. Cool. So cool. you take uh, three points of slicing damage. Great, yep. love that. <laughs> yeah, like, love it that cuts way. through and it... And like, not, not like, but like, yeah, it starts like bleeding pretty profusely, like... All right. No more blood. All right. I cast healing word. Cool. Uh, roll, roll healing. Where on earth is D four? 
Are you? Oh, that would be hilarious. If she it would can't be very funny. <laughs> Six. Six. So yeah, you watch the the bleeding yep. slowly stops, and then you, your hand feels cold, and like almost like little icicles as it seals up, and there's no scar, there's nothing left over. It's just feels feels better, feels stronger. Hey, I think that means you're not undead. Well, I did tell you I have a heartbeat. Yeah, but. You didn't know quite what you were, so now you can narrow it down a little bit. Yes, um, not dead is uh, l- lovely. Um, not even not not dead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Shalini. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine? Um, <laughs> oh, no. yeah. I'm just trying to see what I've got. Flash not... back to D22. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. It rings a bell. Reset um, you. <laughs> have I displeased you? <laughs> oh, oh no! That's still top um, ten animated trials right there. That's, I uh... might use. And we were taking it very seriously over here. <laughs> uh, I like so seriously. <laughs> yeah, please give me more of those faces. That's exactly what I need in my life. <laughs> I mean, the guests cool. need them, clearly. Um, Myla takes out a small sickle that's kind of sort of grey and shimmering. It's quite pretty. Um, <laughs> Alex instinctively takes a step back. <laughs> it's less dangerous than all my other ones. It's more for me, not for hurting people. It's good for cutting grass. Right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Three points of damage. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Same again. Same again. Starts bleeding. Yeah. It's the same. It's very accurate. Same. Same spot. But it's, it feels fresh. Yeah. No more blood. Cool. Wrong healing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Three points of damage yep. healed. Not not quite as effective as the first time, but yeah. Oh no, so, sorry. I just can't do, I just can't do maths. Five points of damage okay, healed. Fine, yeah, it was just as good then. Yeah. So it comes again. You feel the same cold magic comes in and it stitches itself back up little icicles. Hands mm-hmm. fine. You hold your hand up for a high five and Marley just leaves you hanging. <laughs> I mm, what are you doing? Oh, I I, I don't know. I I saw, <laughs> I saw someone do it in town and it it, it mm, I mm. Hi. Um, <laughs> looks like it works. Yeah, yes, um, not, not dead. That's, that's lovely. Um, and not not dead. And not not dead. Yes. Yeah. Right, well, um, we should maybe spend another hour or so tinkering or figuring things out. And <clears throat> um, I don't need to rest for as long as you do. Right. Do you want me to keep tinkering with stuff, messing around with stuff while you sleep? Or would that be weird? Um, uh, uh, no, it's uh, objectively uh, fine. Um, cool. Yes. I, I presume you will need to rest at some point. Yeah, but I only need to sit and really meditate for a few hours compared to... You seem to sleep a lot. I was going to ask if you want the bed. Oh. No, I'll just on the floor. Oh no no no! I'm all good. You you have the bed. I'll right. when I need my rest. Yes. I'll just I'll just sit. Lovely. Well, um, okay. We'll we'll we'll, we'll do that then. Mm-hmm. Right. And then maybe potentially have to run like hell in the morning. Potentially. Yes. Via a deer. Yes. <laughs> yes. If we could run in the direction of um, livestock. Yeah. Lovely. Do you want it to be someone's livestock, or do you want a wild... Do you have any preference? Sorry, I don't know if you have preferences. Well, I obviously prefer people. Okay. They're, they're, they're just more fulfilling. But harder to catch. Mm, well, no, this, it, they're, they're actually a lot easier to catch. Ah. Yes, the problem is then, um, you know, people tend to ask questions. People miss people. Yes, and honestly, some of my body hiding in the past has been notoriously sloppy. <laughs> Is that because you were rich that you could just pay someone to hide it for you? No, no, no. So we're, we're a lot more secretive than that. Um, it, it's just, well, you know, uh, trying to put a person in a bin is a bit tricky. Did you chop them up first? 
<laughs> Normally there isn't that much time. Yeah, and okay. it depends where you are, and you know, I don't really want to go to the poor part because then they, they taste more like dirt than anything else, and it's... <laughs> huh. Really, there are a lot of moving parts to uh, killing people and drinking their blood. Um, it's, uh... <laughs> okay, so we need to find an efficient means of either disposal... Yes. ...or finding people... And not killing them, but them not remembering that it's happened. Well, also, there would be, if I don't kill them, there are the marks on the neck. Yeah, but I could heal that. Hmm. Well, we'll have to look into it. Hmm. It could work. It could work. Then no killing people, no bodies to hide, hmm. no chopping up people and putting them in bins. Yes. Very massive. Anyway... Good night. Um, Good night. If you feel something, it's probably it's probably Cyril. He likes to get into bed if things are warm. I don't. Yeah, sorry. No, it's it's it, it's quite all right. Yeah, I, I'll try and stop him. But if I'm also asleep, then be, he, he, he he might just. He, he's very soft, like a big teddy bear. It's fine. Or a very small teddy bear. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yes. Good night. Try not to roll over on top of him. Good night. <laughs> I don't like sense. <clears throat> oh, just um before you crash, as you're as you're lying down. To fall asleep. Just make a history check for me, please, Alexi. First roll of the year. Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Oh, 22. Right. Dirty 22. Oh, oh. No. thematic. No. The number will never Love be it? the same again. Da 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 da. God. La 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 la. Yeah. la, la, la. You're so, um, like, like friendly, and then you're like, after a second, you're like, wait, was that shade? <laughs> wait, I'm just, I didn't smile. I didn't quite like know. He's like, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. <laughs> I'm annoyed that you took the higher ground and didn't decide to leave us to go hunting. I was like, go on, make the same mistake you did. Like, no, well, no, we, we're, okay. all a, we're all in a room. We're lying down. You know, they don't, they don't have. There's nothing wrong with them Sorry, leaving. Are you, are you staying up? Just, yeah, just yeah, tinker, yeah. yeah I'm just going to be like straight. trying to set up yeah. sort of a little herbalism kit. Yeah, like, we were in the middle like, of a forest, like, reading through the <laughs> almanac, and we <laughs> were on watch. An eye at all, a or goblin in the forest. We're in a hotel. Yeah, yeah while I'm, um, think, yeah, it's fair. While I'm like awake, I'll definitely be keeping like an ear out. Make a perception check for me. Cool. Where where are twenty five assassins now waiting in the room? I know. Yeah, exactly. All waiting to kill Alexi. Yeah, that's probably actually put me on a little bit of. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about eighteen. 18. You got a plus 60 of perception? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Cha. Um, Jesus. Ch- <laughs> uh, no, you, you you keep a pretty keen eye out, and Alexi's softly sleeping in the corner, and Cyril sort of like nuzzled in against him a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, you don't see anything. All, all seems clear, and then as you turn in, still pretty confident that another cursory glance appears, everything's fine. So the night comes and goes, and you all um, sleep peacefully. Yes, sorry. Oh, uh, no, 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 just uh, provided that we don't get ambushed or something, unless that's what you're about to say. I was literally about to say it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clean night's sleep. Yes. Okay, cool. Long After rest. I have my long rest, <laughs> yes. four hours, uh, I'm going to get up and sneak out into the stable yard. Some of that, you know, like a little bit of an open outside area. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's still dark. I will take um, a torch with me mm-hmm. and... Uh, light it and stick it into the ground so that it's like casting like a really dramatic shadow and I will just do some I'll practice my forms and uh, my fighting forms and sure. think about what to do about the Fury. Cool. Mm-hmm. And then two hours after this Let me let me let me finish with Sorry, that. Sorry, yeah, go, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 cool, yeah. cool. Yeah. So yeah, so you're you're so you you've you've, you've had your full rest, so you've you've yeah. had your long rest. Yep. Um so you're doing your forms and, and casting the lights and the shadow and those those words from Sarah are echoing in your head and just Yeah, goading. I just kind of, I use my shadow to like check to see if I, my posture is good yeah. and my foot stance and stance and just kind of go through really basic stuff yeah. and eventually end up with more complicated things just Trying to think about what the fuck I can do about this and what the plan is going forward. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, just just um, what's your passive perception? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, you don't sense anything. Excellent, because there's nothing there. <laughs> just my great shadow with excellent <laughs> form posture. Yeah, oh, look at that. Uh, my feet are in the correct place. Thank you, shadow. <laughs> but you, you turn. You t- you turn that uncertainty into into discipline, and you fall back on your training, and you, you keep those forms, and 
you manage to focus and calm your mind and well you don't know what to do specifically about the situation yet you fall back into what you do know and you know how to fight and you know how to talk to people and you'll figure something out and this copy bastard will get what's coming to them Sasuke. Um, everyone needs eight hours, right? Except for yeah, everyone's eight hours, except for the hours. Okay, so um, Sasuke's gonna get up six hours in, so aware that she hasn't had a long rest, but okay. she's gonna go sneak again. out. <laughs> All right. Um, so, she doesn't notice <clears throat> that Mayway has sneaked out as well. Um, you haven't noticed. No. Okay. Cool. So as Sasuke sneaks out, and she um, she sees this light near the stable. Oh shit. <laughs> And, uh, and she sees this immense shadow with fantastic form and posture. <laughs> Who uh, could it be? And she sneaks up and she sees Mei Wei um, doing her fantastic forms and then remembers that she must congratulate her on her fantastic form later. Um, okay. And then she sneaks off. Um, she has this note, she, she feels first, like... First of all, make, make a stealth check for me. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she's, su she's super selfie. What? <laughs> a passive perception is 12. Beat a 12. Well, no, you're there. Oh, nine. Oh, oh, nine plus. No, no, nine. <laughs> nine. She rolled a three. Uh, <laughs> great, three. great start. Um, D22, where are you sleeping? Um, I think I'm, I'm in the... So well. As long as I can still get a nice rest, I'm kind of just in the corner of the room, I believe, sitting. I'm, I'm, I'm with the sleep sitting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just in the corner of the room. And what's your passive perception? Passive perception is... Uh, 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 12. 12? Yeah. Uh, cool. You do not notice. Okay. For reasons. You do not notice. Okay. So, as far as you know, no one has heard you. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so, she kind of gets transfixed with Mayway's fantastic posture. And, uh, is that, you know, she's, got, she's been handed this note and um, she's just really um, curious as to what, what she's going to find and, and, who, and who's handed this to her. So, so she follows it. Um, so she has to find um, a shop, Pensworth shop. So she goes on a little hunt for this shop. Um, yeah, she kind of leads my way to it and, and heads off looking for this shop. Cool. So you uh, you have suffered a point of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Cool. Just just so you're aware. And by leading and take actions, you'll need to take a full eight hours. So you can't catch up by taking two hours. So it's going to be a four night rest. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Just yeah, just so you're fine. aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So you head out, and it's about three, four o'clock in the morning at this point. And like, there's there's a couple of people, a few drunks, sort of milling about, and yeah. the old bit of traffic and a bit of trade coming in. as like the very early risers. Yeah. Uh, come through. Um, and yeah. it's pretty cold, but she's got a new hat on. She's got new gloves and on. With the coat. Coat. The coat. It almost feels like it regulates your body temperature. Yeah. Like you're not too hot, you're not great. too cold. Like yeah. swishing. You've got you got a good thing going. You know what? These randoms aren't feeling too bad. You've, you've yeah. picked up a few nice bits, sort of, sort of lately. Yeah. Cool. Um, just checking. Have you got your weapons? Anything else with you? Everything. I've got everything with me. Everything with you? Yeah. Cool. Cool. She doesn't know what she's gonna encounter, so she's prepared. Cool. Um, but she feels good. She feels like she might find something interesting more than. And dangerous. Fair. Or hoping anyway. So you, you make your way through the streets. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot quieter. It's a lot easier to find your way, yeah, your way through. Yeah. So you can actually see Penworth. It's one yeah. of the larger carriages towards the end of the alleyway. And, and you get there, um, but it is shut. Yeah. So um, she goes behind the shop because she's looking for a copper grate. Cool. Um, so when she, as she walks around, she's sort of looking out for this grate. She doesn't know if it's going to be kind of on the wall or it might be on the floor. Make, make a perception check. Um, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, okay. Crap. So, given given it is a bit dark, um, mm. but you do you are able to see through the dark. Uh, so yeah, you you look and you see a faded looking half hanging sign with just says per great on, okay. on the end of it <laughs> at, at the back, and and you nice. walk up and there's a small wooden door, but torches are out. It looks closed. But yeah. what would you like to do? Uh, so she just gives. She kind of looks around to make sure that no one's watching and no one knows she's there, um, and she just gives it a a, a, a small knock. And she waits um, maybe 20, 30 seconds, nothing. So she looks around again and just gives it a larger, larger knock and, and waits for a response. Cool. So you, you wait a beat and another another minute after that. And then you, you hear the shuffling of footsteps and the, the, the scrape. And you hear a scrape of, of wood moving. You don't, you don't see anything. You look down at about sort of like two feet. About your midriff, you see a pair of very sunken looking, tired eyes and like quite a gaunt, almost jaundiced yellow face looking like, Yes. Um, I, uh, I'm looking for. I'm looking 
for warmth in a blizzard? Right. Um, yes. Um, Just a moment, man. Um, I'm just going to step back. And so you hear locking and a chain rattling and then another lock and another bolt. And then a door swings open and looking down, you see standing about three foot, maybe a little bit over, um, a rather sick looking halfling with greasy black hair and a purple robe. Um, deep sunken eyes, a bit of like yellow slime coming out the corner of his mouth and a gross sort of beard and a white <coughs> skull cap on top looking looking up at you and uh, g- good evening, how may I help you on this rather dreary night? It's, it is quite quite uh, early or quite late I, I, you? I'm so sorry if I've woken you I, um, I, I got given this note um, I was told to come here, I, oh, do you know anything about it? Yes, you are the goblin girl correct, you are the, well, uh, the one the grieves you had a few choice words uh, I heard I Well, had, yeah. oh no, 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 it's fine, I, frankly I, I don't I see the point. There was some nasty business early on. Take, come in, come in. It oh, must be, must be you. freezing. Yes, of course. Yes. And so you, you come inside and you look, and he, he, he walks ahead, and there's some wooden stairs, and you, you walk down. And you walk into well, the first thing that hits you is, is just the smell. Um, it's just a very gross, dingy, a bit of a must, and different chemicals. Uh, but make a make a perception check and, and have a look around. Eight. Eight. Um, it's it's quite dark. There's one little lamp in the corner, so you don't make a lot of details, but you do see some shelves in the back and a few boxes, and it's it's a bit dusty and mm. quite still sort of there. And the the halfling walks away, and it's 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 a shop. He walks up the yeah. counter, he turns around. Oh, well, I'm glad we could help you warm against against the blizzard. It's uh, it is quite cold out there, but um yes, welcome welcome to to the Copper Grate, or the uh, the Dusted Brand uh, to, to some. <laughs> Uh, we have a small range of scrolls, some odd artifacts, but I'm afraid most of this is marked for Erist. I, I just need to, with the town reopening shortly, most of this will be moving on. Is there something in particular you're looking for that we could help you with? Um, I was hoping you could tell me, actually. I, do you know why I'm here? Well, we noticed your disdain for certain creatures, and you seem like a warrior. Maybe we could help facilitate some of those abilities that's that, that you have. Uh, I, I, have you a need for a new bow or a new sword or something? We've got some, some I mean, pieces come in from the north, which might be... Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I'd love a new bow, actually. If, uh, wow. Uh, well, very good. I mean, there's some very expensive prices out there. Charging uh, something. What, um, what, what, are you, what are we talking about? What's well, the, the lower end? The, the lower end. Well, the lower end we've got, and then he, he, he walks up and he snaps his fingers, um, and then across the benches uh, you see several weapons of different types sort of appear. Um, all of them quite nicely made, but all of them you'd also recognise with elements of rhodolinthium um, crystal buried into them. You see a couple of short bows, a long bow, you see quite a nice long scimitar, and a long spear with a, with a sharpened point at the end, and all of them have a strange sort of vapour coming coming off the top of them. So this, this spear, um, if you hold, you can throw the spear, and the spear will carry on um, like a phantom spear on the back while you're holding the proper one. It's very nice in a pinch. Um, the scimitar, when you hold it, and he picks it up, and two more scimitars appear on either side as you swing. So it echoes the, the, the scimitar almost and attacks as, as you go. Um, but one of my personal favourites is, is this bow. So you take the bow, it doesn't knock an arrow, he pulls it back, and an arrow appears in the hand as he pulls it back, and it fires, um, and it hits the target. And then immediately as it hits the target, a second arrow flies, and it's the exact same point. Yeah, I love that one, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Um, so how much for the double arrow awesomeness? Well, the double arrow awesomeness uh, goes for about 250 gold. 250 Ooh. gold? Yes. Uh, this is, it is a magic bow. You'll never need ammunition and uh, it will let you shoot on an action and a bonus action to be slightly mechanical. Just need to check some of the company you keep. Uh, we try to keep this operation slightly on the down though. I'd appreciate if you didn't share mm. any of this with uh, yeah, other friends. Yeah, I'm sure I can work out a story of how I acquired this awesome bow. Um, 250 <coughs> gold. Let me just think back and think how much we have left in the bank. <laughs> so many. Oh, people have not spent as much gold as that. Oh, we have 198 balls. Um, you guys only have 200 gold left. In the we no, we have 1,291. What are you looking? There. Oh, I'm sorry. I do apologize. I thought we, yeah, I thought we were just holding it weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that a short or a long bow? I'm not there, but so short. the short bow is 250. Short. Yeah. The long bow is close to about 650. 
No, that's fine. I'm, I, yeah, with yeah. Rylinthium and I'm not there, but still I'm asking from, as, a, as a spectator. There is Rylinthium in this, yes. Um, but I, I would like to purchase mystery. Mystery. the short bow, please. I don't actually have the gold on me right now. Oh, well, One of our shame. team. It's, it's only a limited time off the side. Uh, uh, how, how limited? I, I, I mean, I can, I can sneak back and grab it. Um, how limited are we talking? Uh, are I you... can get back in 23 minutes. 20, that's a very precise number. Yes, I'm precise. <laughs> we'll be gone first thing in the morning, so you'll need to move quite quickly. Okay. Uh, but we could work out something else, I'm sure. Well, I, I don't think I want something else. Oh, I think yeah, I want this no, bow no, 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 awesome the, the, you, can, you can have the bow for oh, great. a smaller price, but, well, I'd like to experiment on a little bit here. I was wondering if you, um, that's a very fine blonde streak in your hair. Mm. I was wondering, potentially, we could say 150 gold just a small snippet of your hair. I'm working on a little something. Well, what would you be using it for? Uh, well, there are certain qualities that you appear to have, if you don't mind me saying that I think we could we could work with. I mean, you're, you're clearly very, very pretty and looking looking up at well, your, your wonderful your wonderful breasts, if you don't mind me saying that. <laughs> are they new? Uh, well, I'm only a very short while. I'm quite proud of them, but yes, thank you've, you. Yes, well, you've done, you've done a great job. Oh, oh but my God. If you wouldn't mind listening to some, some hair, or maybe... Maybe just a drop of your blood, I, I'd be very happy oh, to, no. to chip in. Oh, um, no. Oh, no, blood, blood's not, no blood, then. that's completely fine. It's, and how, uh, just one strand of one hair? One strand of hair is all I would um, need. And, and how be. much for the bow plus one strand of hair? 150 gold for the bow. But how about 100 for the bow and a strand of hair? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> She's very persuasive. Yeah. Nine. Nine? Nine. I'm, I'm afraid I do have a... Superiors to report to. 125 and a strand of hair. Okay, make a persuasion check, but it's going to be a higher DC, so you're going to have to roll really well. <laughs> no. no. I'm, I'm afraid. No. I, I believe we've been more than fair, I think, at this point. 149 gold on a strand of hair. How about that? Final offer. Okay. Done? Yes, you deal. I'll be back in 23 minutes. All right, 24 minutes. I won't be here anymore. Okay. Um, so Sass is very excited about this bow. Mm. Probably hasn't thought much of this through, but um, she um, she legs it back up this tiny little stairs. And she takes like three at a time, and um, she gets out of the copper grate, and she she is running back towards the room. Um, maybe could be quieter on her feet. So she's very excited because you're rushing, and because yeah. you're exhausted, I need a stealth check with disadvantage, please. Um, and I'll need your passive perception as well, please, Mayway, just to 12. see. Twelve. Twelve, thank you. Um, remind me what I'm doing. Stealth with disadvantage. Stealth with disadvantage. She failed to stealth past me when she went out, by the way, oh, so I know she's out. Oh, um, 21. 21 on a yeah. disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. Damn. So. I know, it's the first one. Where the fuck are they? Yeah, yeah, no, seriously, guys. Sure. <laughs> today. So, Mayway, you've <laughs> noticed you've gone. You haven't noticed she's, she's cool. come back yet, though. Uh, cool. So, yeah, you, you come in. You manage to sneak in. D22's none the wiser. No, one, no one's noticed. You slip in and out quite quite quickly. You get the gold. Well, uh, is the gold... So, I'm taking the gold from Alexi. Alexi. And, and we've got yeah. Myla in the room. Oh. So, we need to work that out. Well, your passive perception isn't 21, though, is it? No. What time is it? It's... Oh, um, so, what would we be? Half nine to half three. So, it's around about... Half ten, six five hours. to four. It's about, it's about, yeah, it's about four o'clock in the morning at this point. So I'd probably be going exact like to bed at pretty much exactly that moment. Okay, what we're gonna ruin? Oh, I reckon percentile. So yeah. uh, as as Saskia walks up to the door of um, Myla and Alexi, she does the whole like sneaking little through through the old keyhole, and she sees Myla sort of settling in and just just waits a beat, but is really aware of the time and her heart is. She's going. She's like, I've got, I've got T minus sixteen minutes. To you go ran and get my in seven minutes. Bow of awesomeness. <laughs> yes. Uh, and so she will wait, just a couple of minutes to make sure that Myla is um, What's Myla in her doing? meditative state. Yeah, no, Myla just like settles down into the corner. She like puts the books away and tries to like tidy a little bit if she can. Um, is it like when when you're a kid waiting for your parents to go to bed? Exactly like, like that. Yeah. yeah. And so she's attempted to tidy. Realistically, what she's done is moved everything. Um. <laughs> well, Alexa's going to wake up to an anxiety attack. <laughs> Mostly yeah, just the things. Big sigh. Yeah. Sleep. Yeah. yeah. Sleep. yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Mostly just the things that she was working on. So like your stuff will all sort of be fine, but she will have just sort of everything will just be at the side of the room now. Um, and <laughs> 
Uh, and then she'll kind of like put her back up into a corner and like sit down cross-legged and just like close her eyes and uh, settle into her nighttime. No. This might be a question for a pre-show, but does Myla fall asleep like that or does she like toss and turn for like, or the equivalent of tossing and turning for 15 minutes? Oh. <laughs> just um, because there is, I'm just messing with Cheryl more than anything now. But it's, yeah. It's a great <laughs> question. Um, no, tragically, because Sasha's very bad at sleeping, Myla's great at sleeping. Excellent. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you, you, you watch and you get a bit impatient waiting for it. Yeah. But... Um, so slowly open the door, I creep in what and I go What is the door on... locked? Oh, I don't know. You'd know that because it's your room. It does have a key. At the risk of being the worst person ever. You're such a pro. You probably would. Cool. Of course you would. I need you All to try right. and pick that lock, please. Yeah. Disadvantage. Yeah. She's well good at picking locks anyway. <laughs> I mean, Alexia's is kind of paranoid about assassins. That is true. Yeah. yeah. That does yeah. make sense. Oh. 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 Seven. Seven. But the a natural, natural one. one. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Go on, save, 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 save. Okay. So you stick it and you feel it catch. You just managed to get out without breaking it, but you do feel like if you forced it and tried again, even if you unlock it, you would break the lock if you tried again. Okay, so she's gonna just, she's gonna knock and she wants to, yeah, she wants to just, just wake up Myla, but not Alexi. Cool. Um, Considering my past perception is 10, I don't imagine that'll be that. Alexi is dead to the world. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you, you, I'm you cuddling hit. with a squirrel. Yeah. I'm having a great time. <laughs> It's He's staring going, oh, like a squirrel me, 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 does. Me, me, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, but you, you immediately, yeah, you hear, you hear a, a knocking at the door. Myla. Yeah. Can you open the door, please? Is that good? Yeah. Now. I need to open now. Uh. Oh, time limit. Uh. Oh. Okay. Um. Why do you need me to open the door? She's like in the process of opening the door. Why? Uh, what, what do you need? What do you need from me? Hi. Um. Actually, I'm just. Um. I. I need to take some money. Um, right. Do you want to wake up Alexi? No, 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 I don't. No, no, I don't know. So basically, um, I went for a walk and there's this really lovely homeless family that I came across. I just want to give them some money out of the kindness of my own heart and our gold pockets. I, d I felt really sorry for the tiny little children that can't eat. <laughs> They're so sad and crying and I just want to give them some money. <laughs> I, I thought just... you hated kids. Oh, you specifically you threatened what? to kill one. Yeah. Yeah, but I was younger then. <laughs> I've, I've matured, Myla. I've matured. And I'm actually on a time limit because I, I feel like in about 14 minutes they're not going to be there anymore. And then, and then what if they die? And it's on your head because you... Do they need any food? I can bring uh, some with no, me. No, they need gold. <laughs> they, need, they eat gold. Okay, so... So what do you need, like... Three or four? Oh, no, about, um, it was a very specific amount. Um, it was Alexi, just make a perception. <laughs> just, 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 just to see, because they've been talking for a, a couple of minutes now. Uh, seven. No, you're still yeah. asleep. A <laughs> hundred and fourteen. Yeah. The, the kids are going to go and do amazing things. They're going to become inventors and create things that will change the world. One wants to be a nature person. One wants to be a biologist. I don't know what one of those is. Um, like a like a like a sciencey person. Like and, an Etsy. And, and, and do you know what they said? They said there was there was this elf we saw and and she inspired us to love nature. And I think it's you. You've done so well. She needs to give them the money and the chance and the opportunity to live a full nature future. Myla. <laughs> right, cool. Just just before the light gets even more specific. Deception disadvantage. Fuck. Inside advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh so no. Sure. Watch, watch Cheryl roll two natural 20s. No. No. 10. <laughs> With a natural one. <clears throat> no, that's a seven. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a 12 plus something. So, right, well, you know oh, she, Jesus, 12 plus 6. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know she's lying, but it's, it's up to you what you want to do about it. Um, Saskia, if they die, it's on you. Don't. No one's going to die because they don't exist. What? <laughs> what? I think it would probably be the biggest 
character change I've ever seen if you suddenly were like, hey, homeless kids, let's give them 149 gold. I would have expected you to come in and say, hey, I've just beaten up this homeless family and got 149 gold off them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I just beat up this homeless family and I have 149 <laughs> gold and I left it over there near Alexi. And Probably I would have been a better lie. Pick it up. I found a really cool bow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And it's already cool. Yeah, and it like shoots. But two why do you, out. But why can't we just wait till morning and get because it? Because they're not going to be here in the morning. They're going to be here. They're going to be gone in twelve and a half minutes. Eight minutes. <laughs> Eight minutes, Myla. It's a seven-minute run back. Did you go back through the portal? <laughs> 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 okay, but can I come with you? If they got other cool stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 just, I need, yeah. I need the okay. gold, the gold, can I? Okay. Can, can... Make a stealth check. Oh. <laughs> oh. What, does Alexi sleep with the gold? Nine. No, just to make sure she doesn't, like, wake him up. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yep, you got it. Are you sure? It's less than my passive percent. Uh, when you're sleeping, it's minus five. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, okay. yeah, that's, right. that's how, right. how D22 didn't hear. Yeah. All right, I'll run. Cool. All right, you both run. And it's still there. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> you, make it, you make it back and the door's shut. Um, I'm back. Yeah. Oh. Um, so. so, that halfling looks at you and then looks across to... Hi. I didn't know you'd be bringing a snow elf. These Neither are specific... did I. Well, I'm not sure we could continue. Hi, hello. Um, who are you? Who are you? My name is Velden. I'm, oh, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Myla. Yes. Lo- lovely. Lovely to meet you. I don't know. It it's was just... she either comes or I don't get the gold. She's your, your mother? Your... No, no. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. Not my mum. Would be really weird. Uh, I... I'm not one to judge. It's yeah. Uh... Well, then stop judging. You're definitely judging. I can see it in your eyes. He just rubs a, a big green glue powder. I'm sorry, yes, it's um, very tired. Uh, so are we... Can yeah. I have the bow, uh, Well, yes, but we specifically said we wanted to keep this on the down low and you yes. bring a fill of yes, around here. but she's really trustworthy. Can I just get stealth checks from both of you guys as well to see if mm-hmm. Mayway notices you guys leave? Well, she's doing a fantastic yep. four. What am I doing? Stealth. Stealth. Oh, that's not too shabby. It's 18. 18. 13. Sorry. Yeah, all yeah. Good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing like flips so, on he's, the He's ground. opening the door. He's, I'm not sure I can do business with someone who is with the Phil Varel. I'm sorry. I'm oh, very, no. I might get... I'm not like with her. Like with her, with her. Um, uh, so who, who is she? Are you she, here for me? Um, Hi. Sorry, I'm. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah, we just had to um, share the same room, um, and I left the gold in my room. And Myla woke up, and she followed me without me even knowing. So I, I, I I've not even seen her before in my life. Deception disadvantage. <laughs> we shared the same room. Your life gets I've so never elaborate. seen her before. In my, they don't get elaborate. They get worse. <laughs> Uh, 14. 14. Oh. And there was natural 20. Yeah, oh, sorry. Natural 20 Wait, now. I got very confused. Natural sorry. 20 minus 18. Do you uh, have a problem with me? We'll, the f- we'll, we'll get, we'll get sure. to that. <laughs> he looks at you and so she's stalking you. Um, uh, I think she was just awake and um, so it was just cheaper to share a room with, with, with someone and I'm travelling on my own and I believe this um, snow elf was also travelling on her own and um, I went to, back to go and get my gold oh. and she woke up. Back, I'm sorry. Backpack is right. Yes. Do you have a problem with um, me personally? Oh, um, no. The Filverell. More the Filverell. And more oh, cool. The... I, um, yeah, no, it's fine. I don't get on with them. Oh, great. So the fact that I'm about to sell a Filverell technology... Which is slightly illegal. It's not Don't tell Mayway. Um, yeah, she won't notice. Prob- I, I don't care that much, really. <gasps> like, Amazing. It's, not... it's an awesome bow, Myla. Make I mean, I don't know check. who this person is. Gotta, re- gotta realise, I'm not very good at... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. no, totally yeah. fair. Oh, and it's an eight. 
Why don't you just wait outside, if that's okay? Yeah. Just, just, I can't risk it. It's my head. And my boss found out. I didn't let Phil Varel in here. I've got a lot of Rylinthium. I guess I can look, cat's out of the bag. I can look like not a Phil Varel, if that's helpful. But you are a Phil Varel. Yeah, but I'm I I'm a can... halfling. She's a human. Why not just... Uh, Myla turns into a rat. And just uh, hops up onto Saskia's shoulder. Um... <laughs> hmm. uh, uh, rats are my favourite. It looks, at, it looks at you and it's just like... All right. <laughs> well, come on down then. Let's uh, ah. let's see if we can figure this out a little bit. Cool. And you both come downstairs into... Uh, we might as well. Oh, oh my God, if you're about to pull out a battle map. Jesus Christ. Uh. You know what? Oh. Oh. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's going to be combat in a shop. Did you lock the door on the way out, or is Alexi just to sleep now with an open door? <laughs> yeah. Entirely up to... Um, I thought that was like, ooh, leave that unlocked. I unlocked it, so I probably did lock it again. Okay. Myla's very, like, oh, wow. protective oh. of you lot. So. Oh, that's beautiful. What is? Sticky fingers. Oh, oh, oh sticky Wow. Yeah. That's we love you guys. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And for real. Cool. Uh, these are lovely little, we'll get a look at the bookshelf later, but like, these lovely little details. That's well. so, <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm gonna straight up take a photo of that. Can I get them to like design the interior of my house or something? Well, yeah. How yeah. <laughs> cool would that be? Right? Could you do the interior design? Yeah. They're gonna have backdrops really cool. of new studio stuff when that happens as well. <gasps> so oh, amazing. Nice. Uh, right, so, you guys coming downstairs. And you come in to... I don't know if I have a rat. <laughs> and the halfling has walked behind his counter. He's got little steps because I've he's... I've got watched. a platypus if you want to try that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just have a little... Have a bit of <clears throat> but you see several weapons and also scattered across the counter and just little shards of raw Rolanthian. Just scattered mm. around. Mm. Um, I have an echidna. For the rat? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Right. So, uh, glad you could join us. Uh, I believe that potentially uh, this isn't going to work out. So I'm, I'm oh. not sure if we can figure out a deal, but I don't really want to die because Philvera will come and gut me alive. There's someone been chasing us for a while now. Oh, no, I, I, I don't think let's, it's my let's not, let's not Let's not mince our, words here. Oh, okay. Like, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Clearly, oh. clearly, she's she's with with someone. Yeah. I really want the bow. I'm sure you do, but it's uh, it's too late, and you can see all the all the. So all... whether or not you have the bow or I have the bow, they still know about the bow. So how about you just sell me the bow? Are you threatening me? Mm-hmm. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> Disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she's not very intimidating. Oh. Seven. Seven. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that if I if I were you. Well, we had a deal, and I'm here with 149 gold. Great. Then I get the gold hair. and to keep the weapons. So let's. Uh... Okay. He clicks his fingers. Oh. oh dear. The doors shut and lock behind you. I need you both roll initiative, please. <laughs> Excellent. It's not just I'm us. No, it's not just <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, it's better rut. Doesn't have any hit points. Oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Brilliant. Cool. I'll be up in two seconds, please, guys. <gasps> oh, I get all my. You got this. You got this. Okay. <laughs> right. Also, luckily, you've got a greater hearing question. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. Uh, right. So, just to bear in mind, so. Neither of you had your long rests yet, so you haven't got the appropriate spell slots, including all the healing you did uh, just before. That's fine. Right, uh, initiative rolls. So. I just like playing with it. Cool. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah. Right, uh, initiative, please. I've rolled a four. Four. Plus anything? Eight. Eight. Cool. Uh, um, sorry, I'm still yeah, figuring no, out what on earth is going on with everything. Cause it's okay, right, so your initiative um, is whatever you roll plus your dexterity. Ooh! Dirty 20? Dirty 20, okay, so. That means how big a Sorry, I'm trying to figure out 
Yeah, no, no, what, no, you're, you're what a rat fine. is like. Oh no. Cool. Oh, okay. Right, uh, well then, with that, with a dirty 20, uh, Milo, you get to go first. Oh, great. That's what we wanted. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're still currently a rat. I am indeed still currently a rat. Sorry, so all the all the weapons are laid on the table. Not anymore. No, they're all gone. They're gone. Okay. You can't, you don't see them. Um, okay. I will immediately um, drop drop rat. Cool. You feel your shoulder oh, as a Myla lands. Sort of leaps off it. I'll select leap and um, <laughs> and then I will. This is tricky, tricky, mm. tricky. Um, I will. Cast is that a bonus action as well? No, sweet. Okay, um, I'll cast Thorn Whip. Great, cool. Uh, is that a save from me? Uh, it is not. I just get to hit him. Cool, go for it. Um, cool. So, oh no, that's bad. Um, that is a ah. Oh, I've got my moon sickle on me. You do. Yes. Uh, cool. So that is. Five, five, six, seven. Uh, Twelve to hit. Twelve to hit. So you feel it. The thorns come up. Um, he said, "Not today." And he closes his fist, and a pulse of arcane energy comes out, blocking the thorn whips. Crash off and don't quite work as he casts shield to defend himself. No, no. Your turn. Oh, oh sorry. Did you want to move or do anything else? Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anything. Mm, Sounds like it's no, difficult. I'll stay. I'll stay like. Kind of neck, just next just to next it. to the table. Yep, cool, great. Exactly. Sounds good. <coughs> okay, great. Um, you don't have disadvantage on attacks. Sorry. You do not have disadvantage on attacks, so that's. I that's do not have disadvantage no. on attacks. Right. Okay. Um, can I? Um, um. Okay. So this, I can create a bright light. Can I? Can I create a flash of light to distract him? Um, and then throw a hit. Am I allowed to do that? Uh, you can you can try and throw a light up there for sure, and I'll, I'll see if I can make a save on the back of that. Yeah, I want to um, I want to just throw like a really bright light so he, so he kind of gets um, distracted by it. And sure, sure. You'll need you need you need to physically touch the object to make it lighten up. So you need to so say like a dagger. You can make you can light the dagger up and try and throw I it at him. Throw, yeah, yep. uh, literally. I want sure. to throw that up, grab the dagger, and then attempt to just throw it at him. I don't want to get any closer to him really. Sure, right now. cool. Uh, so we're gonna call it your bonus action and and your action to do that. So okay. uh, I'm gonna just roll a wisdom save just to see if he blinds off the back of that. Uh, he rolls a two, so I'm gonna say you get to do this with advantage on this throw. So make your attack roll with advantage. Um, uh, it's a dagger, so it'll be... Yeah, it's uh, been since before Christmas, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute. It's all right. Just, so, but I get to roll both? Yes. Roll both and take the so highest. So it's that yeah. one, yeah? Yeah. So it's 20, 20, dirty 20. Dirty 20. And is it your normal dagger or your magic dagger? Your plus one dagger? Uh, this is going to be... My, I, this is my normal dagger. Your normal dagger. Normal okay, dagger. cool. So, yep, yeah, that, that, that hits, uh, and you can roll uh, sneak attack damage. I was just about to say, because I've got an ally within five feet, is that why? She's not within five feet. It's because he's blinded. Oh, so he's you've got advantage. Yeah, you've what? got advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. so you get sneak attack. So it's gonna be one d four plus three d six because you've now got. D six. Oh, oh, that's the yep. d six. Um. And that's useful. <laughs> it's funny, I always pick the d six. Like <laughs> three normal yeah, dice yeah. in a pyramid. I think it's a square, so I think four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Mm. 12, 15. 15, very nice. So you throw it up, you say, ah! And like, you see the, the shield falter for a second and you throw the dagger and it lands on the shield and it pushes and it holds for a second and it goes through and it hits him for 15. Square, Sick. catches him just in the clavicle. And I was like, oh. Did you add that number? No. So it's 19. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and then Why do I add this number for? Uh, because it's, um, that's damage. So your dexterity is... Oh yeah, plus five. that's five. Uh, it's but just... it's but it's the regular dagger, not that's oh, okay. the damage for the plus one dagger. Okay, so four. Yeah, so it's nineteen. 19. Cool. Okay, great. Uh, would you like to move anywhere? Um, no, no, I no. Are you gonna stay where you are? Uh, where you go? Actually, can I move to the other side, please? So we're sort of flanking him a little. Well, yeah. So you'll be over here. Yeah, yeah just so sure. we're yeah. Cool. God, I'm so blind. He's got a star. Looks like it. He does. Yeah. Fuck. 
When in doubt, shoot the cool. wizard. Cool. Right, so the wizard, having taken this, he sort of looks, alright, this won't do. He pulls out a book and he holds up a staff and I need both of you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Pass this one. Uh, yeah. Um, is it being charmed or sleepy? No. Oh, no. Five. No, fail. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, ten. Ten. So, <gasps> a oh. energy pulses out throughout the entire room and you both feel yourself become slow and lethargic as he casts slow on both of you. So just to read out the effect oh, on shit. both of those. Um, cool, so your AC is dropped by two. Um, your movement is halved. My what's halved? Your mm-hmm. movement. Uh, you can either use an action or a bonus action in a turn, not both, and you cannot take reactions. Oh, um, that is rough. So sorry, what's the last thing you said? Uh, uh, so we're down to okay. So t- uh, two off the armor class. Yep. Um, you, you, down to fifteen feet movement. Yep. You can either make an action or a bonus action in a turn, not both. So. Yep. Yep. Uh, and you cannot take reactions or opportunity attacks. So if he comes past, you don't get a free hit on him. Oh yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, Casts. Casting slow on you. Great. Uh, and with that, he is going to. Yeah. Precisely. One, two. Five. He's going to start trying to make a break for the door. Uh, cool. Right, and that is his turn. Myla, back to the top. Uh, also, if you attempt to roll a spell, uh, you have to roll a d20, otherwise it doesn't go off into your next turn. Shit. <sighs> Should have just given me the money. Oh, we're going to have words <laughs> about that, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh. You want to be very careful right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're just happily like having a sneeze of Cyril. Oh, hang on, has Alexi sleeping fact... been abandoned again? Yes, yes, you're the only one, in fact, that hasn't now you're get some snuck serious out. Trust issues in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is sleeping. So I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> you'll oh, come back. You'll survive. No. You'll come back, and he's just kidnapped. There's a note waiting. Okay. Oh god, that's going to be the before break thing, isn't it? Yeah. Alexi is not there. Oh no. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then he comes in from the bathroom when he on the other <laughs> side of the break. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. What's supposed to go, Marla? Yeah, this is just really hard because all of my stuff is is very magic heavy. Um, cool. Uh I'm just gonna try and grab him. You're gonna try and grab him? Yeah, why not? Sure. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, great, let me just double check. Yeah, cool, you can attempt to make a grapple attack. Yep. Cool, it's still just a, it's a I better it's still just you a straight better roll. Stuff. <laughs> yep, cool. Uh, yep, so you step, so one, two, Yep. Uh, yeah, you can attempt to grapple. Cool, remind me how I do that. Uh, I think you just roll and then you make a strength check. Uh, and it's got to be this AC. Okay. Right. So I have minus one to my strength, so... Oh, good. And, um, so that's a zero. So, oh, in, like, no. in, in like an opposite matrix, you go to like lunge. I'm just incredibly and slow. he just... <laughs> Bends and then just walks underneath your arms as you miss completely. Uh, yeah, halfling, it's just completely size. like. Yeah. You can just move through your space like it's no big Cry. deal. Cool, uh, yeah. that's it. You can move one more square if you'd like. I'll move out of the way of Saskia. Oh my god. Just. Yep. Oh, like right. that. <clears throat> but still within five feet. Still within five feet, that is right. Uh, cool. Saskia. Can't do light thing again, can I? Because the light thing was a light thing's done. Yep. You can either attack or you use the bonus action. Um, he's facing away from me, right? He is so. running for the door at the moment. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go for the dagger again, but go for the um, the dagger with the the extra magical hoo ha. So you're gonna like throw the, the dagger your brother made. Yeah. Cool. Go straight for it. in. Yep. Better get that. Straight back. Back. You're a brother. I'm not that. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> How the you turntables. Have a oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you have this. Rick on, Rick on, Rick on. Uh, <laughs> um, right, so I'm, I did this one again, right? 
No, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. But you get a bonus plus one on top of that as well, so. And there's no advantage, is there? It's just a straight roll. Straight roll. Which one? Oh, okay. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Not that <laughs> one. <laughs> It was uh, a natural 20, though. Was Doesn't it? Count. No, not counting that. No, no, no. But yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, so 18. 18. Nice. 18 hits. Plus 7. Yeah, definitely hits. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank roll, you. roll your damage. <laughs> Right, hang on. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be. There's no sneak attack, is there? You so do get just, sneak attack yeah, yeah, because I do. Either so it's the same as last time. Yeah, uh, so 40. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, same as last time. Two D six. What? Two D six. One. And that. There you go. Another D six. And another D six. There you are. And then I plus the five. That's correct. Mm. Oh, that's a great roll. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so as he's running and you turn and in slow motion you get the extra second to aim. You throw the dagger. What happens next? Does it hit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it does hit. Okay. What okay. happens next? I go yay! <laughs> <laughs> So the dagger flies, it hits him square in the back. In the back. And he lands and he slides forward, slants dead. The moment he drops, you both return back to normal speeds. Great, the first thing I do is I go and get my dagger. <laughs> that goes, actually. <laughs> Be like, that one and that one, thank you. Cool, great, and you are now out of combat. Excellent. Oh, I needed some food, this would have been great. Oh, we um, Oh, yeah, we should go get good. Alexi. <laughs> as you, as you guys- one minute, right? Oh, no, wait, I wasn't there. <laughs> Sorry. As you guys pick yourselves up and catch your breath for a second, and that very nemus. Smug as fuck. We're going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. We're back, baby. See, that's We're back. exactly what D22 and I wanted from our, like, sneaking out. Successful combat, come yeah. back. I won. Yeah, one. It was a perfect, perfect amount to kill him. Oh. Yeah, he, 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 he had, um, oh, yeah, if you, if you got one list, he would have survived that. You, you knocked him out by the oh, exact Was he, he going to lock him in there if he if he left? I'm not telling you. I bet he was. He's not going to answer that. Come on. He wasn't going that. to lock them in there. There's very lithium still in there. He probably was able to come back with people to fuck them up or something. I don't know. Mm. Anyway. This uh, is amazing, oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Sticky fingers are really well. Yeah, it's really good. Anyway, we're going to take a minute, uh, you know, lick our wounds, and then we'll be right back. So we'll see you in a second. All right. It swings the camera. I'm never doing that again, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut there. Let's take 10 minutes, guys. back. Uh, before the break, we had a quick little battle encounter between Myla and Saskia and a little evil halfling wizard named Veldon. After not quite striking a deal, after Veldon realising that there was a Phil Varel, um, amongst Saskia's party, um, a very quick fight ensued with the wizard slowing down our two heroes before Saskia finished him off with a dagger to his back. Um, with the now sound of the alchemy lab bubbling around you and noticing the dim light not a lot is left from when you first came in all of half an hour ago the room is silent there's a dead wizard on the ground what would you like to do um i'm gonna see what's on the dead wizard if there is anything um of interest on make an Belgium. investigation check disadvantage. disadvantage uh you're allowed to help them as well or you can just chill I don't really know what this place is or what's going on. Cool. Ten. Ten. So looking looking on the wizard, uh, you, you, you go through his pockets and you find 38 gold. 
115 silver. Um, Ooh, and his, his robes his robes are filthy and, and they look like they used to be purple. There's dark splotches all over. Um, there is he's wearing uh, a, a metal sort of like breastplate which clinches it all together. Which if either of you want to try and recognize that, you can with a history check. Uh, but the other thing he's holding is he's got a long staff with a gnarled wooden hand sort of stretching out the top of it, which he was using to cast spells from. Staff looks pretty cool. Do you think uh, any one of our lot would want to use it? Or Maybe. It's a bit creepy. It is creepy <clears throat> as hell, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, he was casting stuff from it, right? Like, that, yeah. not my domain, but... I don't think he's really my domain either. No. Should we just leave it? Maybe. Okay. Or should you, like, break a wizard's staff? Oh, yeah. And just take the top bit, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Yeah, okay. And then Saskia, like, without a thought, just picks up the staff and just knees it and cool. just breaks it in two. Yeah. So, you snap the staff. <laughs> okay, two seconds. Mila told me that I should snap the staff. It's Mila's fault. I haven't said what happens yet. Whatever happens, it's Mila's fault, unless it's good and it's my fault. <laughs> you turn into a quite frog. Concerned. Okay. <laughs> I always look concerned. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, the staff snaps. You this like dark energy, sort of like lightning arcs up between where the two bits were and sort of connects it a little bit, and it goes bright white. And then three lightning bolts, red in colour, shoot. Boom, boom. Two hit the roof. Another flies and hits the barrel in the corner of the shop. Fuck. And it <laughs> explodes, alighting the entire shop. Oh, in the we're corner. not in, aren't we? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> the shop is now on fire. No! <laughs> um, I'm so. Jesus oh. fucking Christ. <laughs> um, okay. Swap the dice rolled. Um. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Um. So not the whole place isn't on fire. The corner is on fire. It's a wooden shop, and there's lots of chemicals around. What are you doing? Let's get the fuck out. Is the door open now? <laughs> uh, Sasuke runs up the stairs and just tries to ram the door. Make a strength check disadvantage. Um, fuck. We've had that. Um, oh, fine, we'll do it again. Yep, oh, cool. Uh, straight roll, or, or you guys can give a straight roll. Oh. Oh, wait, you're disadvantaged as disadvantage well. Disadvantaged, so I'm 12. Uh, 12. Why am I disadvantaged as well? Because you didn't have your sleep yet. No, 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 but I didn't, I literally didn't even go to sleep quite, like, so I'm not, I don't think, have I got... You're, you're exhausted, so... Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. cool. Uh, so 12, uh, strength check, please. Uh, yep. Uh, 19 minus 1 minus one. Oh, and disadvantage, yeah. Yeah. Curse is... One now. One. <laughs> cool. You hit it. You hit it twice. It's not working. Oh, cool. That's one round. Fire starts spreading a little bit further. Um. Just so we're. we're can I see? Is there a tiny crack anywhere? Oh yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not sealed. Oh sick. Cool. Um, I'm turning to a spider. I'm out of there. Oh you oh. fucking bitch. Cool. I'll go get her. To be fair, she also did make you set the whole place on fire. I so. didn't make It was her. your fault, Myla! She strongly I'm not convinced Myla. you're gonna have time to get help. Right. Um, you you watch as Myla turns into a spider through the crack. She's out. Did I um, see Mayway when we went past? Uh you were out in the open, you weren't. Yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. in the stable yard. I'm just in a yep. air. Mayway! <laughs> How far away are they? I thought they were pretty far. Make a perception uh, check. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run Four back towards run. them. Okay, just cool, cool, cool. Shouting. Yep, like yeah. You, you're you're hacking it away. Yep, go for it. Make away. make an attack roll. Perception. Oh, it's okay. Nine. So nine. Yeah, you're chipping away, but it, like it's a pretty thick door. There are a yeah, lot of locks on it. Okay. It's gonna take you a little while to get through that. I rolled a twelve. For my twelve. Perception. Yep. No, you, you you hear that? That's that's fine. So as, as you're running, you're hearing like just <laughs> like it's still pretty quiet. <laughs> Things are picking up a little bit, but yep. Mayway, 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 Sas, Saskia's trapped down in a shop and it's on fire. We need to go, what? we need to go get it now. What? Anyone, a fire brigade, help! What? It's kicking as well. Oh, kicking. Okay, 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 I, I follow, I follow her. Okay, another attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll. Oh, oh, no, it's straight, straight roll, straight roll. Straight roll. So, yeah, straight um, roll. 13. Cool, it's starting to budge a little bit, but you're still okay, not really cool, getting anywhere just going. yet. And should we fire get, is still spreading it even, even more. No, 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 we're running, we're running, we're running. 
Cool, right. Um, you're starting to get hot. I need a constitution saving throw from you, please. As, as the smoke starts to fill up. Eight. Cool, not quite working for you. Nope. Right, you two. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Um, running to, to the front. Uh, you can hear banging on the door as Saskia is smashing it on the outside. What would you like to do? Um, One, I two, will... three. Yeah, I will like cost your lele and like smack into the door. Cool, make an yeah. attack roll, please. Straight roll, thank you. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I will do the same, but I'm just gonna like grip the head of my flail and just throw myself against the lock of the door. Cool. So don't try and bust Great. it. Great, uh, make an attack roll for me then, please. Is it damage or just the, uh, like... Well, yeah, just just go straight damage, because it is a okay, door. Cocked. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's fine. not yeah. cocked. Um, it's not cocked. What is my D8, that one? Yeah, eight. Four. Eight? Cool, okay. No, also to, eight. no, to hit. To hit? Oh, no. No, yeah, no. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you you bounce off it. It yeah. feels like this is one that pushes out. Eight damage. Um, towards you. Eight. Okay. Just... <laughs> She's just coughing. Like. She's just coughing a lot. All right, cool. What, is it locked, right? It's, yeah. it, it is It is locked, and it's still barred. And it's banging, and it's, bang and it's still going. Can I try and pick the lock? You can absolutely attempt to pick the lock. Pull, uh, I don't have a lock fix or anything. I'm just going to pull my dagger out and like remember what I've seen uh, okay. Saskia do. You can do. make that. It's a very high DC. Uh, just uh, roll plus your dex modifier, please. A sleight of hand, or? I don't, I no, don't no, know. No, no, just dex plus yeah. modifier. Yeah. No, I, I don't do yeah, it. Yeah, the locks, the locks too finicky. Uh, doesn't, yeah, doesn't quite smack it again then. Smack it again, cool. Go for it again. Uh, Saskia, what are you doing? Um, I'm on my knees now. I'm, You're on your knees? I'm coughing. I'm okay, making another constitution save for me, please. Five points of damage. Cool, we're still going. What the hell are you doing here? Three. I'm trying to break the right. door down. No, but why Three. are you here? I don't save. even know. A, a passing guard, having heard all the commotion, comes past and with the whistle starts whistling. Um, oh, oh, Roll a natural 20. <laughs> There's three more show up to find oh. two snow elves kicking down a door with smoke pouring out of it, to be fair. Um, and they all come in and oh. start. I'm just gonna turn around and be like, help us, help us open the door. There's someone trapped inside. inside. Alright, right, step, step back, step back, step back. And they pull out and they get like a large mallet and they just start bashing down the door and the door starts sort of crashing through. There's more fire. We're actually running out of fire to put down, so we're just gonna go. There's a giant the whole thing. The whole place is ablaze. <laughs> oh, fuck. Cool. You're gonna have no hair by the time you come Six. out of there. <laughs> eight. You take eight points of fire damage as the fire starts to lick and burn your legs. I feel we just cool. started speaking about fire earlier, about how it's bad. It's not <laughs> a good learned. time. Cool. You step back. Yep. You're letting the guys do the things. Yep. Are you helping if you step back as well? Yeah. Cool. Okay, great. So all three of them are gonna go. Uh, miss, hit, hit, and we're gonna get. Uh, <clears throat> Cool, they step back and with a giant hammer, it crashes on the center of the lock. The door bends in two enough for the two to sort of rest and open and ooh, this sort of build up of pressure comes out as Saskia, you're flying up just a little bit, lying on the ground, still conscious, mm -hmm. coughing and spluttering at the yeah. feet of four guards with Mayway and Myla. Yeah, I assume Myla and I just kind of step forward to like scoop her up. Um, Myla well, I just immediately goes, get up, and casts uh, Healing Word at level two, because those are the only spell slots I have left. <laughs> um, so you're going to get 2d4 plus two, so... Uh, plus four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten points of ten points Amazing. Cool, so you feel you feel the, um, the smoke leave your lungs and the, the slight burns on the back of your legs sort of clean up a little bit. But the guards sort of come in and like get between you and, and the snow elves and what what is the meaning of this? She was banging on the inside of the door. Yes, but and why trapped. why is it on fire? Why is she inside? And like start calling in more guards start coming with buckets of water and start trying to put it out. <coughs> I don't know how I got there. Okay. <laughs> Deception check disadvantage, please. <laughs> She should be the face. Oh, fuck me. Four. Great. Four. If you wouldn't mind just coming with us for a second. Just, we can ask some questions, get get you back. Check you're okay, but this is, you can understand we need to do our jobs here, please. And uh, you two, yeah. looking, looking at, do you, do you know why she was in here? No, I just came, we just came to kind of get her out. Right. We could hear. Is, is she with you? Yeah, she's a friend of ours. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, she is part of the party that helped kill Club Gut. With the band that arrived here the other day. Uh, persuasion check, advantage, please. Ha ha ha! I should have guidance you as well. Advantage, well, advantage is good. Advantage is good. Um, persuasion, twenty-one. Right, good. Okay, thank, thank you for your service. We'll, we'll take it from here. Please, please stay back. Don't, don't go anywhere just yet. 
take a seat, good, and more guards come in and they slowly put up the fire and a small crowd standing together. See, there's smoke billowing out. They're stopping to make sure none of the other carriages quite up. Some very dreary out dwarves are pulling their, their cart away from the other side. Pans worse. Some of the quite, you know, sophisticated looking nobles are looking down to see what's going on. It's quite a, causing quite a commotion, but there's a there's a small crowd gathering to, to look at what's going on. There's, there's little bangs and booms and different colored flames sort of popping up as the different chemicals catch on fire and pillars of smoke coming coming through. Um, but the guards are currently tending to the fire and dealing with crowd control. And for the moment, with one guard standing close by, it's just you three. Uh, what? What were you doing? What happened? Uh, there was this homeless family and there was these two little what kids. What happened? Uh, um, what happened, Matt? Um, can the guard hear what we're saying? The guard can hear what you're saying, yes. He's keeping an eye on you, for sure. Yeah. Um, in Elvish. Oh, in Elvish. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, Wait, does the guard have pointy You ears? don't know. Uh, the, oh, don't know. oh, sorry, you make a perception check. Does he, yeah, does he have an... <laughs> sorry, I thought, I thought you were about asking the guard. He has a Elvish. hat on. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, but he might the, be wearing a hat. the sharp features would tell me if he's elf. <laughs> cheekbones. Yeah, them elfin cheekbones. Um, sorry, was that perception or insight? Perception. Uh, You're it's... looking to see if he has ears or not. Yeah, uh, fifteen. Fifteen. He is a human dude. Okay. Cool. <laughs> An he's elvish. A, he's I turn a straight to Milo, white man so. of D and D races. <laughs> what happened? Um, cool. Myla is still aware that this guy could theoretically understand, so she's going to talk slightly, sort of mumbled, and hope that that maybe obfuscates, given it's in another language as well. Cool. She's she's doing her best. Um, so Saskia woke me up in the middle of the night, and, um... Gross. She said... <laughs> she snitches get stitches. <laughs> Saskia woke me up in the middle of the night, asked if she could give some money to some homeless people, which was definitely a lie. I, like, put my hand on like that. Oh, so no, it was a lie. <laughs> Sorry, Mayway. Um, and then when I asked her what it was really for, she said it was that she could, so she could buy a really cool bow, um, oh. But it had to be like right now. It couldn't be tomorrow morning or anything. So she had to sneak the money away from Alexi. And I thought I should probably go with her because it seemed like a pretty strange, stupid situation to me. Yeah. And then we got to this place. This guy thought it was really, really weird that there was a snow elf with her. So we went inside and then um, he attacked us. And set the whole place on fire and left you in there? No, that was because... I wasn't sure what to do with, with the wizard's staff once he oh, was dead. And yeah, like break I'd it, I guess. vaguely heard it was something about breaking a wizard's yeah, staff, so we not? did that and it set the whole place on fire. Oh, oh, okay, well that's good to know. Yeah. Um, all right, well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. And in common, I turned around like, I'm glad you're okay. What? Oh, there's a bunch of rhinolithium down there. <laughs> right. What? Wait, is, what? Is rhinolithium um, resistant to fire? There's rhinolithium down there? There, there? there was a lot of rhinolithium mm. down there, actually. There was like raw bits just hanging about the place. Yeah. There was, my bow actually had rhinolithium in it and it could like shoot one which wasn't really there and then shoot another one automatically. It was really cool. Oh, that That's is really I cool. I wanted it, my way. Weapons with rhinolithium. Yeah, it was really cool. Oh. Have you ever heard of that? I never heard of that. Uh, have I ever heard of that? Like a history check or an arcana check. Because of my weird that? little... You can also yeah. make a history or a counter check. My... Uh, you can make it with advantage because you're specifically... Yeah, but... No! <laughs> I've never worked on... Like, there's never... Oh, yeah. But you, you are the whole, <laughs> so with advantage, yeah. 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 Fine. Okay, bad. History, though. Oh, negative. History or a counter, it's up to you. Uh, 17? Ten, both of them. 17. Uh, you haven't, no. Yep, no, they're all intelligence. Uh, 10. No, no, neither of you have heard of, heard of that. Uh, to, to you, yeah. they're for healing, yeah. revivification, like, yeah. surely... Good spiritual based, like Perhaps. spiritual crystal, wow. I guess. I've never heard of it, but why would these? Th it might make sense. And, and and more of it. There's. I just thought there was was like. You hear like a rumble oh. from downstairs, and a couple of guards come out like on fire a little bit, like like fine, but like patting themselves out. You found a place. Nope. We're gonna talk about this later. Can we help at all? I, if. Do you need any healing? I can do. I can heal one more person if anyone's really badly hurt. Yeah, one one of the guards comes up and he's got like quite a bad burn across his chest and a little bit across his face where his beard's come off. And if, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Um, feel better. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, he can have. There's um. There's some nasty business down there. I don't. I don't know what you were. I wouldn't go in. Eleven big... points of healing. Thank you. I feel I feel much better. Um, 
What are you doing down there? Some nasty shit, man. I don't know what you're getting yourself into. Wait, wait, what did you see down there? Well, there's a big hole in the wall. There's a big gap out of the city. It looks like they were smuggling something in and out. Um... Some old crystals, some residue from some spells. I don't know. Oh, no, I... I'm not... I, I don't mess with that magic shit. No, no, no neither do I. Oh, did you just pick up another... Like, did you just pick up another man at a fucking... Bar, at a bar? Bar. Uh, bar. No, bar. thank you. Actually, I was invited... So, less of the assumption. Another, another skeezy guy at the end of the night. You know what we can be like, right? I, I guess. He's into some, uh, you're, you're into some weird dudes. Yeah, um, she just has uh, bad taste, I tell you now. Well, you know. Well, yes. Yes, I do I have could, bad I taste. Could, I could, I could, I could fix that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, we got a nice, upstanding man of the guard. This is what you need to start looking for instead of going to pubs at the end of the night and trying to find someone. didn't go to someone. a pub. Well, maybe that's your problem. <sighs> Um, yes, anyway, so, sorry to, to interrupt. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, That's okay. I think we're okay. If you've got any water, maybe you can help. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up and take a second. Thank All you. Right, thank I've got you. some ice, but I think it would probably hurt more than help. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, stick around. The captain will want to talk to you in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. sure, sure. Cool. But every, everyone's all right? We, you... No one, no one's dead. A lot of damage. Okay. Um, we didn't really know about this place, so... Oh. Yeah. Bit of a surprise. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Neither did we, I guess. Well, doesn't explain why you were there, but. <laughs> well, you know. Um, bad taste. There's also a dead body. Wow. Oh, what? Bit, bit burned. Who, I thought you said no one was, was killed. That? Well, none of our were killed, but we found a, the remains of a oh. dead halfling. Well, oh. gnome potentially, or a very skinny dwarf. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, you, 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 don't, you don't know anything about that. No, not at all, honey. P- you please take care of yourself first, and we'll come speak to the captain and right. everything. You need yeah, to don't first. don't go anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Just with caution, he just calls over two more guards, yeah. just just to keep an eye on you guys. Cross, like cross, no cross. weapons or anything. I just turn around and like give Sasuke a massive hug and like whisper into her ear, like that's the story. You came home with a man. You came home with a guy, and then you have no idea what that place is. I let go of her. Sasuke is sulking. She didn't enjoy that. <laughs> so, after that main explosion, the smoke starts to ease down and the water gets put out and the crowd starts to disperse to the guys, like, tell them to go about their business. Morning comes. I'm really tired. You didn't sleep? No, I got Oh my god, the guys! Oh my god, Alexi. He's, he's, he's gonna keep- he keeps waking up with no one there! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least we locked him in the room safely this time. Okay. Did you lock it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You sure? He's got, like... Oh, he's got Cyril. I he's also got right? Cyril with him, yeah. Okay. Oh, but Dee might be wondering. Okay, yeah. we all have to stay here. We have to stay well, here. you two left before I did. I only came because I was worried that going off by yourself hey, to some I'll shady... Not you, us. you. Yeah. <laughs> like, but both of you left. Like... I was just in the courtyard doing some exercise. Sarah K. Fury sent me a message last night. Let... What? I... <laughs> this is... Too much and I'm very tired. Yeah, we need to... Can we just get out of here? Excuse me, excuse me. Not I, yet. I won't go home. I... So do we. Yeah, but just we didn't during, do anything. Just during it, like the smoking hunk I of the... I literally didn't do anything. I just you were the only ones here. Out. We found you red-handed trying to open the door. We gotta... To we'll get do. her out? Yeah, well, we, we don't know what she was doing. Well, you can go. We'll just keep her here. All right. Yeah. You're just going to leave Sasuke? I'm going to go and get Alaska, I'm going to leave Milo with Alaska or whatever. I'm going to go and get Alexi and Dee because they're I probably waking up to being like... <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Do you want to go, go sleep. there? Go sleep. I've got it. I'll handle I'll this, go. guys. I'll, I'll stay go with back. her. I'll stay I'll with let her. You send them. Know and I'll go sleep. You can't be trusted to speak to people on your own. That's very fair. That's rude. Homeless children. What were you doing <laughs> last night? <laughs> I was sleeping <laughs> last night. And... And when did you get up and decide to go looking for some company in the um, middle of the night? Uh, I wasn't looking for company. No, company but you was were... looking for. I was looking for company. <laughs> there we go. Um, Myla's going to go back. Um... So the guard just stops you for a second. Okay. We, we need you to stay, oh. if you don't mind. If, um... Can they stay in? I, I'm so sorry. I'm just... I'm... Where, where are you staying? Uh, the Painted Maze. Right. Uh, do not leave. Oh no, the we maze? might leave town. Yeah. I was going to just go tell my friends, they'll probably come back here. I just really need to sleep, so I'll be in the room. Sure. You can just come find me, it's fine. Make a persuasion check. Oh no. 
We're mm. the heroes of the town. Oh, that's a four. <laughs> we saved you all. Um, okay, but Sergeant calls up with three guards and three guards go with you. They're going to oh, stay yeah. by your side until later on. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, 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 no. That's totally fine. Cool. Do you want to... Do you want to guard me while I sleep, or do you want to guard outside the room? While oh, I sleep? Outside, outside the room. Okay, cool. Yeah, would, yeah. Come on. I I don't know. It's. Do I come on well to you? It's, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. okay, come on, let's go. Right, come on then. Yeah. <laughs> like patience is wearing a little bit thin, but yeah. happy enough. All right, to, she to heads on back. Up. Yeah. Um, the first thing she'll do is go back and wake <clears throat> up Alexi. Um. Is he is he there? Hope is he's there. Well, is he alive? Is he? Yeah. Is the is the door kicked in? So you wake up like with an assistant. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Good night, Mister Caster. At this point, you're still asleep. Oh, hey. Okay. You haven't woken up yet. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So you arrive. Yep. And you can try and stealth if you want to, to not till so many might still be sleeping. Okay. Um. How long has he been asleep? Like, do I think he's 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 right towards the end of of a long rest cycle at this point? Okay, cool. So I'll just I can like I might just leave him, and D. I'm gonna write a note. Okay. Um, says uh, I'm gonna write a quick one to D, Mm -hmm. uh, which just says, um, "Good morning. When you wake up, please go to." And just gonna quick give like directions. Uh, Saskia and Mayway have are being. Kept there by some guards because a place set on fire. Night, night, Myla. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> Love um, and kisses. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she's going to leave one for Alexi, except that she's just going to fall asleep holding it. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's nice and obvious. That's the cutest thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weather wax. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I is not dead. I um, is dead, yeah. Um, so <laughs> it just says, um, good morning, hope you slept well. <laughs> there are three guards standing outside the door, and they're making sure I don't leave, but it's okay. <laughs> um, when you wake up, you are welcome to either wait here for four hours while I sleep, or you can go find Mayway and Saskia, who are directions. Um, because a shop caught fire and Saskia got caught inside it and we had to try and break her out and now they're asking questions. Um, hang on, how are we signing And the writer off? gets the writer gets <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're running out of space. Um, <laughs> He's like writing on your arms. Yeah, <laughs> she's absolutely also taken like some notes out of like your notebook or something that like leaves out for this. So it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's then been like... Um, Please don't be mad at me, Myla. <laughs> D22, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm awake now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm awake now. I'm just in the corner of my room, um, just uh, very happily, obsessively playing um, with a small device in my hand. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to describe what the device is for the rest of, for the rest of us? Yeah. Um, so I'm currently holding a compass in my hand, but it's not. It doesn't look like the compass that I bought. Okay. It's now three colours. Um, it's kind of bronze, um, dirty silver, and chrome in places as well. Um, it's the same size, and uh, on its face, it's divided into two main colours, which is like a dirty bronze and a bright gold, um, and just one needle, which kind of tends to point left or right. Um, Effectively what D22 has made is a moral compass um, with his parts. Uh, Around the outside, if I may be allowed, are six numbers uh, on the outside which he uses to spin, which he doesn't really know, but it's kind of potluck and based on my dice, and it will guide him on on how he should act ethically or badly in certain situations along the way. But the moral compass itself will, will be, which we'll discover, will be able to He'll be used to detect certain things along the way. Oh. Um, he's very proud of what he's made, and he's kind of just pacing up and down in a room, looking at said compass. Oh, that's wonderful! wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> if like only there was someone here to show it off to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he, so, so he, he fi- after about a good ninety minutes of looking at the compass and trying it out, <laughs> he then looks up in the room. It's like, where did everybody go? <laughs> um, and perhaps, yeah, he, he kind of, again, he walks out the door, 
opens it. Nobody looks what? into outside Lexi's room. Sees three guards. And sees three, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sees three guards, turns back in the room, sits down with the <laughs> um, Can I have said that what Myla has done is pinned the note to D22? Oh, yes. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to invent sticky notes just so you can have, like, attached to a yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. definitely on your forehead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I... I, I um... <laughs> On, on, on the very on the very thin glass top of the compass, I see just a, a high vis small note <laughs> on the top of my head. Um, come, on, peel it off and uh, yeah, and read Myla's note, cool. um, which obviously alerts me to the situation. So I think at that point, I will, um, if I make the, the the guards outside your door, they're not threatening to me. I mean, I don't know that, do I? But they're yeah, not no, going to no. cause me. You can find out. Well, I. <laughs> What a great time to use my uh, to use my to use my compass. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my compass out and I and I can um, yeah I, w- I would like to detect whether these guards are here for good or for bad, if sure. friend or foe. Um, so yes, I would like to cool. uh, detect that. Please. Great. So you actually want to use one of the charges in the compass to yeah. So, so yeah. You, you you extend it in their direction and you feel the energy come up your arm a little bit mm-hmm. and it, the needle. Goes, you know, mostly good, leaves the neutral a little bit, but between the three of them, you can see that their intentions, uh, they seem on the level, um, as far as you're concerned. There's no malice or intent um, in, in their being, at least as you can, as far as you can tell. Cool. Yep. Uh, a very slow smile spreads across his face. It works. <laughs> um, and he's going to plod towards the guards. Cool. Greetings, friend! How are you? My name is D22. Are you guarding my friend's room? Uh, g- good morning, I'm Gref. This is Bolo and... Vladimir, uh, yes, your friend. Uh, yes. There was there was a fire in town. We're making sure she doesn't leave. A fire in town. I heard. Uh, who is stuck in here? Uh, this would be the elf, uh, I believe, uh, the Myla. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually now at the site. I thought I was still back in my room. Oh, oh right. Sorry. No, sorry. I thought you went to so the guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the guards. I was going to say, why are the guards outside Alexi's room? No, yeah. no, no, no. no, no. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So the uh, guards yeah. are outside Alexi and Myla's room. Myla's asleep. asleep. In Alexi's room, we didn't, yeah, because she went to sleep in Alexi's room. Because you got, because you came back. Yeah. So it was you three. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry, I sorry. thought you were still at the thingy. No, okay, no, no, gotcha, no, no, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, we can wreck on that. That's completely fine. So <laughs> if um, may, may, may I, may I speak to my friends, please? Uh, we will be present, but yes, of course. Do you have to be present? Uh, we need to check you're not making up a story, so we can corroborate. Yes. Of course, no problem. Can I do that? Can I go in? Yes, you can. Cool. And he opens the room and he goes first, yes. leaving it and lets you come inside and the other two follow inside with you. Okay. Uh, Good morning, guys! How are you this Alexi morning? Alexi is waking up. Uh, <laughs> so Alexi woke up um, probably about a couple of minutes before this uh, and he's read the thing. He's like, oh bloody fucking hell. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, okay. And gets changed to stop with screw up. Uh, with Cyril, uh, so like, all right. Um, you do you want to stay on my my shoulder for for, for a bit, and we'll, we'll we'll get you a little bit of breakfast while she's um sleeping. Yeah. Lovely, right? Okay, uh, and <laughs> and he is walking to the door when it opens, and there is uh, just a guard stood there. Morning, and in Alexi's um best kind of like rich noble voice, he sort of folds his arms, make sure the signal ring is just yeah. <laughs> She goes, what is the meaning of this? Uh, there was a fire in town. Your acquaintance was caught at the site of the flames and we're making sure she doesn't leave. Yes, um, have you heard of knocking? Yes, have you heard of not being arrested? Am I being arrested? Uh, you could be if we're found to your party responsible for what's happened here today. Right, um, so there has been a fire in town. Yes, I believe we're detaining two more of your friends uh, at the site. <sighs> it's been one of those nights for us as well, I, I can tell you. This will mean nothing to you, but this is, uh... They've done this before? Uh, not exactly. Um... Myla would like, I'd just like to say, Myla underlined, please don't be mad at me, like, three or four times. Um... <laughs> She's in her sleep doing it at this point <laughs> in the corner of your eyes. So. <laughs> just... <sighs> right, um, and roughly how much, uh, damage are we looking at? Uh, well, the shop wasn't registered, so technically there's no cover as we know, but we need to find there was a dead body found inside. Looks like they were smuggling. It's a bit of a nasty business. Right. Uh, we don't really know what they were doing in there yet. Right. Um, no one's really in trouble under arrest yet, but we just don't want people running away. Uh, I understand. Am I confined to this room? 
Uh, no, but if you leave, we will send someone with you to escort you. That is very well. I was going to um, go and maybe try and get some food. Um, is that all right? That's, that's more than agreeable, yes. But someone is going to be escorting me the entire Yes, yes, time. I've let him out. And one of the guards, a shorter one, comes along. <laughs> Alexi shorter, mm. big looks man. back at the sign of, please don't be mad at me. like... <laughs> Lovely. Great. No. And so where's, where's D22 on yeah. all of this? D22 is just, I guess, it just burst through the door and right. someone see if he's okay. And now D22 comes in. Good morning, Alexi. How are you? I I, um, I, I was quite all right until about um, two, two minutes ago. How are you? That is a marvellous device. Isn't it? I made it. I spent most of the evening yesterday and this morning creating Moral Compass. We're going to put a pin in that, but um, we are we are going to come back to it because I'm a little concerned of that. And how are you feeling this morning, mate? I am <laughs> quickly on cigars. Perfectly fine. A little confused, mm-hmm. but you know. I yes. am sorry to hear that, friend. Uh, you are quite welcome. Friend, um, shall we? You don't eat. Uh, I need to uh, get a little bit of breakfast. Um, you know, some bread or something, <laughs> and I'm going to get a bit of food for um, for Cyril. Do yeah. you mean special food? Wink, uh, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to explain. Um, no, 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 no. You, yeah, it's fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No. My warforged is um. As I'm sure you may have noticed, is a little uh, eccentric. I well, I believe the term is uh, screw loose. <laughs> Seems fine to me. Fair enough. You rolled a two. It was inside. He hasn't clue what you guys are talking about. Mm. Uh, no, no, just just regular food. Bread. I will be having bread. Okay. Put a pin on that. How does how does D twenty two wink when he's got like light bulbs for eyes? Uh, one just, d- 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 yeah, just just slightly dims. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great, cool. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, um, right, uh, Vladimir, was it? Uh, yes. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and get some food now. Great. Uh, both of you together? Yes. Cool. Uh, Bolo? Yep. So two yards now. Let's go. So there's one each. Great. Uh, uh, Alexi is going to sit there and order some food and eats it in the most joyless manner ever. <laughs> it's doing literally nothing for him. So, mmm, food <laughs> smells good. It, yes, it is. It is perfectly. Pl- Would you like something? You're going to finish that. Um, I, I, I didn't get a break after the. the oh no, no, by all means, then. Oh, I, 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 I never eat very much. And he just takes like the whole sandwich. Yep. And just starts munching it down. Yeah. Like. Uh, so could Wait, you... is, it, is this mine or is this is, your, is this yours? Oh no no you can you you can you you're, you're, you're sure. Yes yes right, yes, right. yes yes. I'm more of a bacon guy myself. Oh, so. I will <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> my, I ate my breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> like just just fall and start eating it. Completely different bit of food. Sorry to completely come out of the game. I'm still pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, did you want to finish this? Or? No, no, it's okay. quite all right. <laughs> and you just, just... Mm, that was really good. Uh, right. Uh, well, could you tell me a, a bit more about what's happened? Uh, what, what's the um, investigative process to be? Uh, sorry, I have a, somewhat of a fascination of uh, legal matters. No, no, of course. Well, we're not associated with the Commonwealth or, or Stoneheart or the humans of Dwarven Kingdom, so really we'll look at what happens, we'll come to our conclusions, we'll discuss the owners of the property if there are any, and... Someone needs to be punished, or lose a hand, or put to death, and we'll we'll put that as it is. But as we know, things drop in the air. It's not yes. registered. It's just a bit suspicious that someone was trapped in a burning building, and yes. there's a dead body inside, and now a big hole. So someone was smuggling. We just need to determine if she was uh, involved. She? Uh, yes, a uh, small one. Uh, yeah, we're quite gnarly. Not very good at lying. Something about a homeless child and uh, 150 gold. I, I don't know. We didn't believe it, but that's all they told us. <laughs> um, I'm happy to take you down at this point. I'm sure they'll probably clean up the worst of it so far. Um, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm, and I realise that this is probably a strange thing for me to have to say to this group. I'm a little bit apprehensive about leaving someone on their own. Um, I'll be fine. I've got guards. You've got a guard. I've got a guard and a note. Yeah, you can take him. <laughs> Would you excuse me while I quickly go and get something from my room, and then I'd be more than happy to come. Please, 
Okay. Yeah. Alexi's going to go into the room, um, ask if he can just sort of be by himself in the room. Make a persuasion check. I'm not good at that. D22 is just shuffling behind you. Uh, they did say that they <laughs> would oh. stay outside, though. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, 17. Cool. It just there's a bit of back and forth. It's just they just doing their jobs. Being careful. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yep. fine. Goes in, takes the note from Myla, <laughs> folds it up, put it in his, puts it, no, no, stuffs it in his boot. Okay. Yeah, just in case someone searches him. There is nothing incriminating in that note. Oh, I was just thinking for safety's sake. Fair. I literally just said there was a fire in town, like and May- and Mayway and uh, Never mind Saskia that. have been like, inside pocket. Then. Yeah. Cool. No, it's literally just I gave you the information about where they were and Great. that there was a fire and yep. they were there. Then um, uh, I think we should probably go and uh, see to the others. Yes, it would be nice if we helped them. Would make us good people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, right. Let's 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 go go, go do that. Um, oh, I did also promise Master Solomon that I'd go and see him. We'll we should be all right. Um, Alexi just gets the note. Gets the quill, writes on it. Myla, gone to find the other two, and then just really underlined. And then just A. (laughs) D22 just goes there, PS, I made something cool, D. Cute. Shall we? Yes. I've got your back. Thank you. Uh, that, that's very, very kind. Uh, Vladimir, shall we? Yes, we shall. So Vladimir and Bolo, take you both <laughs> and start walking down the road. Um, and we're going to cut back now to Saskia and Mayway. Uh, the guard captain now having cleaned up and the fire is now out. Just little trails of green and black smoke still wisping out a little bit. But they've got a couple of chairs and a table. And How much time would you say is like passed since my left? Uh, about 45 minutes. So in that time, yeah. I just want to have been like talking to as many guys as possible about the story of how we killed Klavga and sure. just, you know, bigging up our general how much he make, cares. Make like a, us all make and, a, oh, make it, seen it. Make a general charisma check for me, please. Uh, proficient as well. You need your proficiency to this too. Not going to help if I roll like shit though. Maybe. Why? Seven. That's, that was actually a natural one. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, shit. Do I take it? No, uh, not, no not because not it came off the table. House rules. Yeah. yeah. And now watch it roll a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17, <clears throat> better. Um, plus my charisma is 19, and if I had proficiency, 21. Great. Uh, so it's not quite a dirty 22, but not quite. a lot of the guards are enamored, and some of them have remembered you when you came through, a lot of them had shut down the barricades and remembered you from yesterday at your party, and I think you've got quite a, a small sort of group of, yeah. of, of, of guards like, listening to your, your, your tales and laughing along a little bit, and keeping like a bit of a suspicious eye on you still. And, and my girl Saskia, she takes her dagger and drives it into Club Gut's throat no. as he's rising up off the floor to try no and break my way. grapple. He's like 20 feet tall. She you're... is fearless, this one. She's having a little nap. <laughs> she, she, she seems it. She, she seems it. I mean, who else could nap right next to a fire? <laughs> or whatever the hell is, She's is just going waiting. on down here. <laughs> just well, yeah, I appreciate it. You, I hope you appreciate it. We're just doing our jobs. So Absolutely, like, honey. Don't even worry yeah, about like it. This, we'll resolve this today. No courts or anything. Like, see the guilty or not, and we'll justice as, as needed. But I'm sure, mm-hmm. based on what you're saying, I'm yeah, sure it's I'm, I'm sure I'm it's I'm talking fine. and I'm playing with my like uh, library symbol, like little badge that nice. I like to flash around. Nice. So the guard captain comes along and, and beckons to you both and sits down and wipes the soot and sweat off his forehead. And So, um, let's get this straight. What happened? Thank you. One story. Thank you. No bullshit. No bullshit. No homeless bullshit. kids. No, no 149 gold. Kids. I've got a dead halfling. I've got a hole in the back of a room. I've got a burnt out basement that no one knows about. What the fuck is going on? I was drunk. All right. I was very drunk, and normally I like to go for taller men, but I don't know what it was. He was just charming and lovely, and she has a thing. I had a for moment going out yeah. and finding someone to spend like, some time with. And you get a bit me of fun, and um, yeah, it's just at the end of the night you want to blow off a little steam. There ain't nothing wrong with it, and yeah. she met the wrong person, and things went wrong. He, he ended up asking if I wanted to come into his basement for some kinky action and 
So I went down and I, okay. I didn't know that he had locked me in. Um, and he started to get, started to get a, a bit abusive. Um, he, he attacked me um, and um, yes, oh, awful, I had to, honey. I had to, I had to, <laughs> to fight back. <laughs> Oh my precious darling! Did I, did were you hearing my stories? Oh, but there was a, a candle, <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, I was trying. I had to. I had to keep him off me. I had to get him off oh, me. Oh, Saskia, Saskia, Saskia! <laughs> I locked a candle and a, and it set fire to a bit of something in the corner. And you know she's and, not afraid to kill a fucking ogre, but halfling men interactions you have when yeah. you feel safe can be he, some of the most terrifying things. He had his staff and he had it up against my throat. And I just had to. Oh, I just had to. And then it was all set on fire, and then I was banging, and I couldn't get out. And it... Okay. <laughs> Genuinely great performance. So here's what we're gonna do. You're still exhausted, um, but because you've got Mayway helping you out, I'm gonna eat both the roll of deception check as straight rolls. <clears throat> Come on, I'm not going to roll. Today. I'm going to roll an insight. One set of dice. You're just in. Uh, deception. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. 10. 21. Yeah. Thank you, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so 10 plus 21, so it's going to be 31, which is going to average to 15. He rolled a 14 on his insight. <gasps> Um, um, he, he pulls a very sooty handkerchief out of his pocket. Sorry, you had to go through that. Thank you. Yes, we, um, it's more of a skeleton. We can't verify that, but it looks like he was burnt up in the fire. Most of the belongings gone, a lot of old scrolls, and there's a couple of bits down there if you want to take a look. If there's anything you left down there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's yeah. go ahead and look. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I won't leave you alone. We're not done, but oh, no, I need no, no. to know, like, what is the relationship with you and the other? Elf, they would. How did they know you were inside? Oh my. I shouted really loud. She also she doesn't really sleep, and I she's very concerned about all screaming. of us. So potentially maybe followed her to keep an eye, just you know for safety's sake. Saskia's not had the best luck with men in the past. Right. Okay. So it's uh, just I, like a, a friendship, like just keeping an eye. You know, we don't judge. We just want to know she's safe. But you just knew where she was with Mal the fire. went, and I was up because I only sleep. I don't sleep as much as oh, humans. Right. I was up just practicing some forms for you know. Gotta you keep, smell the gotta smoke. Keep sharp. Do, you? Do you smell the smoke? Probably. Yeah. Heard the smoke, and Mala came back to get me. Right. Well, good enough for now. Don't leave the city for another day while we clean the rest of this up. Um, Thank you so much for. If you want to look, there's some so. guards down there. Just be careful. It's not the most secure. Um, and as, as he's wrapping up, uh, that's when D22 and Alexi, you guys arrive to see a crying Saskia. <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, Alexi <laughs> D! Oh, goodness, thank goodness you're both here. Thank, thank you for your time. Thank Please you. Please don't go anywhere. And thank you for everything. back and let you guys and thank let you start seeing off the, the last round. What's his name? Did I, I must have got uh, You didn't point. get his name. His name was uh, Tane. Tane? Tane. T-A-N-E. Tane. Okay. So, so, something with... Uh, are we alone? Uh, the guards are still flanking, so Volo, uh, Vladimir and Bolo are still flanking you guys. But they're not, they're not like on top of you, but they, they are nearby. They're not leaving you alone yet. Well, are we not uh, being left alone now that he's The guard captain's no longer sitting with you. You've still got guards. Yeah, there, but yeah. didn't he just say he's like, don't leave for another day, but do, does that mean we still have to have guards the whole time? At, at this point, Bolo and Vladimir are still watching these two because they, they haven't right. been told yet. So, All right. yeah. Then, guys. considering the guard's still there, Alexi is not going to say much of anything. Of course. We just had finished having a conversation with Captain Tane. It happened again. Saskia just made some bad choices with the men she had to go home with. I know. I what know. bad choices did she make? Oh, honey, it's just... So know, many. So many. So many. She's got a D22 just um, doesn't know why he's doing it. He just leans forward and just gives Saskia a hug. <laughs> oh. 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 Right. Cheers, dude. I turn to the two guards that are 
uh, Frank and Emma. Yeah. I just sat down with your Captain Tane and we had a chat about everything. We're not going anywhere for the next day or so, but it seems like everything's on the up and up. Would you confirm with him? I won't ask you to take my word right, for right. it. Right, right. No, no, thank you, thank you. And just looks over and the Captain looks over and yeah, sort of waves them off and like, right, very good. And I'll step back and right, thank you. they thank start you. heading back towards the painted maze. Thank you, sir. Cool. The minute they are like out of earshot, sure. Alex is just going to go, a day. I didn't do it. A day? I don't have a say about this. I wasn't the one who snuck out last night. Well. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know that. Think you should head down there. If there's anything left after the fire, there might be something you're interested in. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. How come you didn't come and get me? There was rhyolithium in that basement and you didn't come and get me. I had to keep on the down low. You don't think I would have noticed when you had a weapon made with a crystal that I'm sworn to find and put back to my own deck? Well, I was thinking about how cool the bow was, and maybe wasn't thinking about much else. All right. It well, was a very cool bow. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. And I just walk away. Alexi just goes downstairs. Yeah, D22, just fucking grab D and we go down. So there's, there's a couple of guards flanking um, the, the doorway and uh, about three more inside sort of scattered around. And not not really picking through, um, but you can see going inside that it's almost completely charred. Everything's blackened. There's like darker patches. There's bits of soot falling down from inside the roof. Um, the shelves are completely destroyed. What looks like just piles of ash all over. There's a couple of crates still like half left over but the fire didn't quite reach or just tucked around slightly out of the way but for the most part it's it's looking pretty decimated but mm. any of you or all of you are welcome to make investigation checks to try and see if you can find anything or... I will take my investigator's notebook out and cast locate object go for it or a lithium or a lithium go for it I don't think I need to go for it at all <clears throat> just yeah locate object cool so you cast it mm. yeah DC 13 if the rock wants to make a saving throw Natural twenty. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's a rock. So, uh, it pings, and it pings immediately in the room. But instead of specific dots of it, the entire room goes off as if every particle in the air, and you realise there's just rhodolithium vapour that's been evaporated almost by the fire that's caused that massive explosion earlier right. that day. Um, you do notice sort of half a crate in the corner, which isn't pinging, but still remains slightly intact. I'll go and have a look at it. Sure. Cool. So you walk over and a guard's sort of like standing nearby and, uh, yes. I, if you... I, no, honey, I'm okay. I'm just having a look around. Um, my friend's feeling a bit too delicate to come and have a look for herself or anything. She might have left. So. Oh, sure. I mean, this is the only thing that really survived, but if you'd like to Hi. take take a look through, it's just some old papers and bits, nothing. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Thank uh, you. Great. I mean, steps aside and still watching you, but let you, let you get on. <laughs> Sorry? Papers and things. Make an investigation check. <laughs> but wait, I have a negative, don't I? Yes, I do, but uh, 15. 15. So, yeah, with that, uh, you go through, and it looks like most of, most of like bundled up scrolls and bits of paper, but half of them are all burnt off. Um, right. Yeah. All right, well, I just have a look through those, and I go, I'm going to ask Alexi what these might mean. Uh, I don't know if you should... Slide of hand? Before. You want a slide of hand, though? Yeah, yeah sure. Is yeah. anyone helping? What are the rest of you doing just while Mayways? Distracting I wanna, them. I, I want to I investigate. I'm, um, I'm, I'm built to find built to find things. So I might, maybe if there's any metal within the suit, if there's anything that I can quickly rummage through. Uh, yeah, sure. Make, make an, investigation, investi- an investigation check. Twelve. Twelve. You... you, you like, there's a couple of, like, small glints of metal here and there that didn't quite get burnt up, but you don't really find anything with that 12, sorry. No. I respect that this might be a bit complicated and I might have to do more than one roll for this, but uh, considering that Alexi was... the word smuggler has been used, uh, Alexi would like to sort of, like, sneakily, but try and um, feel around for any sort of, like, hidden compartments that might have survived the fire. Sure. Just without drawing too much attention, cool. if possible. Uh, yeah, make a sleight of hand check to, to, to like feel through the soot. Uh, 
Uh, 13. 13. With a 13, you don't seem to find anything with, with that. You run your hands through and you catch on bits of wood and get a couple of splinters, but no, there's nothing else that, that, that does pop up. One thing I didn't mention, looking behind one of the bookcases, is now just a giant hole mm. into the outside of the city behind. Mm. That's okay. It's been burnt out and it looks like it's half sort of falling up, but it's quite large. It's about 10 feet wide and about 8 feet tall. It looks like an easy way to get things in mm. and out. And you can see tracks going back and forth between the two. Right. Cool. Cool. Uh, I rolled a 16 sleight of hand to get those papers uh, in, up my sleeve or cool. in my pocket. The guard doesn't seem to notice. Thing. She's like, no, no, her bag isn't here, of course. I just I had to check. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's been a tough time. It's all right. Thank Good. you for your service. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you as well. I heard you did some great stuff. Yeah. In the defense of people, what can we say? Yeah. Well, whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm a, I'm a cord man myself. Um, but appreciate you and uh, you lot all the same. Bye. Anyway, bye, cord. Don't let me, uh, don't let me keep you. No. Yeah. Carry on. Yep. Enjoy it, man. I'm. I will. Sit away. Where'd you guys on? Uh, yeah, I guess. No, the reason to stay, Alexi will follow up and out. Cool. Um. Go back out in the city, and the time is yours. Um, have I, I seen a temple of Ion around here or anything like that? Uh, you would not have, no. no. Right, great. Um, I suppose we need, to, we need to go back and sit and talk privately for a bit. Um, so much has happened, but I, was, I had some news this morning. Sarah K. Fury sent me a message last night. His voice appeared in my head. I don't mean on paper. I, I don't know how that happened, but. Oh, it's um, it, it, it it's it's perfectly uh, possible. Um, that does imply a certain degree of uh, arcane aptitude on his part, which is uh, somewhat concerning. But uh, still, it tells us something about him, which will <coughs> help in the long run. Uh, right. Well, Trying to speak in private about all of this. Yes, we we should do that. I need to. Eat. Oh, we're uh, not allowed to leave. Thus, we are now having a problem. All right, we can try and deal with that. Mm. How badly do you need to eat? Very soon I'm going to start getting weak. Do you have two days left in you, or do you need to eat today? I need to eat today. How much? Oh, a bit. Was there a char-grilled dead body down there still? There was a skeleton. There was a skeleton mm-hmm. that had been completely consumed. Uh, and yeah, no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't fly. So I, 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 like, I like the thinking though, it's good. <laughs> and very, very, very quietly, I might need to find someone. And Sasuke just, just puts Mayway between <laughs> <laughs> and Alexi. And just won't give eye contact. Worst comes to worst, you can have something from one of us instead of setting up a manhunt in the city. Let's go. Has right. it been long enough? Would I know if like Myla has slept enough by now? Has it been enough? Uh, you guys have probably spent uh, the time. I'd, I'd probably say there's still probably another hour and a half left on Myla's okay. on Myla's sleep time. Yeah. Right. Uh, on the way back, then Alexis can go. I I need to quickly go off and um, see someone who is expecting me. I'll be I'll I'll meet you. Fair there. enough. I need to pick up. Uh, I've got some armor as well to collect. Yeah. I've got studded leather from uh, the leather. Worker. Yes. Yeah. Well, the shops open. The shops open yet? Uh, the shops. The shops will be starting to open at this point yeah. now. Yes. I'm, I'm going, going to go and get my. Um, before you do that, 149 gold, please. Oh. <laughs> and she walks off. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Cool. You you walk back to the painted maze, unharassed, quite happy. A couple of guards are watching you, but no one's following you or anything. Just keeping on it. Cool. Cool. Very quickly, Alexi is going to go to Solomon's tent. Yep. Yep. I swear, um, must. So Solomon. as as you approach, oh, uh, you see you see Solomon waiting up front, and a couple of people come out to talk, and he's like showing him away, and he's looking around expectantly. Oh. Um, uh, must Solomon. Master Car- Master Alexi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Oh, great! Oh, man, you're almost late. 
I'm, I was getting worried you weren't going to come back. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, it, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there's a big fire in town. Yes, it's, it's going crazy, to be a bit man. delayed now. Some, something has happened to uh, some of my uh, my friends. Oh no, so, I'm real. Everything's okay. Uh, yeah, yes, I, th- I think it is, but um, they're just. We're going to be a bit delayed. We might be coming back later. I, I just. I didn't want you to be waiting for uh, no reason. I just sent some customers away now because I thought you were coming sooner. And oh shit. Um, oh, ho- ho- hold on, hold on. Yes. And Alexi is going to run and try and catch up to the customers. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, you chase and you see a, 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 a middle-aged dwarven woman like sort of grumbling a little bit, just walking towards the royal fazirs. Um, uh, uh, sorry. Um, hello. Hi. Hi. Um, sorry. Uh, re- 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 really quickly, I, I, I need you to, uh, to to go back to talking to uh, my alchemist. Friend. He just kind of told me to leave. Uh, oh no, uh, no, no, no. This is a <laughs> sorry, horrible he's, voice. He's, he's, <laughs> for a middle-aged woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Crushed it. He, he, he's very bad at jokes. He, his humour, it, 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 it's... He's it's, a funny... He's a funny... Oh, that's close. That's, that's okay. stop. I'm, I'm on fire. Um, he's, he's a funny one. He, he is. He right. is. But uh, far far more worth your business than the uh, snobs over well, at the... They're, they're too expensive, but he, he sent me away. So. No, oh, no, no. He, he, come, come. We'll go, we'll go back. And, yeah, I'm Are sorry, you, and you, like, physically... Physically moving, just just kind of like the, the it's it's the it's the polite like hand is on the back. Oh. <laughs> make it make it make that it a, make a charisma Lower check. Back. <laughs> just, a, just a straight no. charisma check, not too high, not too low. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> just starts walking with you it. in the end. <laughs> Look, you, you, you you'd regret it forever if you went went, went to the uh, expensive place. Uh, Master Solomon. Uh, yes. I've, oh. I've, I've brought your friend back. Um, I will talk to you later. Uh, do, you, do you promise? I, I promise. You pinky swear. <laughs> what is oh, that? So you, you take your pinky. Right. You, you lock it. Don't leave me hanging, David. <laughs> oh. You lock it and you break it. Yeah, you seal it. Yeah, you can't break that now. Cool. You promise? Right. right. Great. Cool. I'll see you two hours? Um, well, I'm going to have to let you know. Oh. All right. But I'll, I'll wait here. We're, we're here for at least another day. Cool. Oh, fantastic. Yes. All right. Do you need anything else while, while you're here? Uh, and I need you to look after this kind woman. Great. Hi, how can I help? Right. And they talk, and we never have to hear what she sounds like ever again. <laughs> he Christ. was too cute. I couldn't leave him waiting. Oh, <laughs> I would like some alchemy, please. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, and Alexi is just going to head back to his room. Cool. Can I collect my armor? Absolutely. Excellent. Yep. Just We could just say we collect it? We can just say we collect it, and Excellent. it's all awesome. so you get My AC uh, gets above. Woo! So you, you, pay, you pay the 45 gold, uh, just nice professional transaction. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, 45 gold off the cut. Already done. Excellent. Uh, and you've got the um, those stamps of iron that you asked for as well. I think they are, you asked for that branding. Yeah, yep, that, that's that's been added as well. Um, My 18... D22. <laughs> nice. What's going on? Uh, I think we've been towards the end of the episode, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, did you want to pick up your... Yeah, I'd like to pick up my hat. Sure. It's my saucepan, yeah. Yeah, so you get you get, you get to Barbins and yeah, he's, uh, he's, doing, he's doing his thing and... Well, good morning. Ah, hello, friend. Hello. Uh, yeah, um, you, you're here to collect your... Uh, yeah, how, how, how is the hat looking? Uh, it's great and it's right here oh and he pulls God, it out and it's flat. Perfectly shaped to your head. There's veins of gold and silver spread throughout, and just this razor sharp edge on the outside. And wearing gloves, he like gingerly sort of like hands it and just places it upon your head. And it's essentially like a big like riding hat mm. from Mortal Kombat sort of thing going, but perfectly fits. Sharp. Bit of a special job, but I'm pretty pretty proud of that one myself. Uh, yeah. It looks great, mate. You've done a fantastic job. Uh, you're welcome. Good enough for a tip. Oh. You can have one gold. Oh, thanks. Cool. Do you give him a gold? Yeah. Oh, great. Cool. Yeah. Wow, that moral compass. Thanks, good. friend. All right. You tell everyone Bobbins. Will do. Thank good. you. Cheers. How tall is D22? Got six, six two, six three. Okay, so it's like, I just want to know how high yeah. that razor sharp hat is. <laughs> <laughs> We've already worked in the mechanics for it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so as as the day begins and you guys start heading back towards the towards. The, the end of the day and see what happens next, just, you guys. Yeah, come back yeah. together at the... Um... Painted maze? Yeah, yep. painted maze. Sure. And I'll be waking up. Cool. Oh, and I'll be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Anything else you guys would like to do? Or? Uh, just kind of do the debrief on Sarek. Cool. <laughs> just like... So the painted maze is a lot quieter when you arrived last night, but the tavern's quiet, there's breakfast being served. And... But we will stick in our room. 
presumably right because privacy we need we need sure. to talk this stuff the stuff we need to talk about is you know maybe we, we should feed Alexi. Does anyone want to donate some blood because we can't go anywhere? I assume I'm still asleep at the, no, the other room at the moment. We oh, right, well, have I not quite? Because you have quite. to go get me because the guard's still there. I'm, oh, well, I'm... we went back to their room, like the room where Milo is. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. So, yeah, you would have seen the guards outside Milo, or the guard rather, outside Milo's room, yeah. but at this point, yeah. Uh, uh, well, and we'll... the way an Alexi would sort of like repeat their captain's orders to the guards. Sure, make yeah. a persuasion like, check. No, come and send someone to talk to you. Oh, you poor darling. <laughs> It's all mercenaries and freelancers. No one knows what's going nope. on. Nope. Uh, no. That is a six. Uh, you're welcome to talk to her, but I can't leave until someone of a higher rank comes and relieves me on my post. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you're, you're clearly just doing your job. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, in when the door's closed. Right, so we're going to have this conversation very fucking quietly. Wait, they don't come in? We'll just wait to have it in my room. I'm sleeping. There's no guards there. Well, yeah, oh. yeah, but asleep. they'll follow when Milo comes. But Milo's asleep at the moment. Milo's I'm asleep at the up. moment, yeah. I'm waking up fairly soon. Yeah. But okay, like, still asleep. Um, <clears throat> so so like you, you can have the conversation in your room with the guard prison, or we can have the conversation in Saskia's room without anyone else. Okay, then Alexi would probably insist that we wait for Milo to wake up and then have the conversation in the other room. Okay, okay. so for the sake of brevity, yeah. Milo's going to wake up. Now, Guard's okay. gone. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Fine. He's like, oh, yeah, cool, okay. Right, so... So, to clarify that I've understood, understood this correctly, um, we are uh, st- stuck here for... Uh, Another day. Right. Uh, that is longer than I wanted to be around. I know. Um, just, I know that you need to eat. I do. But there's... Th- someone sent me a magical message in my head. Yes. That is... Um, and, and, and... Apparently he's taken over Arist. Apparently he's... You know, hidden, underground, evil. He, that, that, he, Eddie's dead. And, and he talked about us helping him put things in a stronger amount of power there. Mm. That was nice for him to send that message. Yeah, so nice. So nice. Uh, So I feel like we've got some unfinished business in Eris, or at least I do. Because now the man who's smuggling a magical stone from m- our land, mine and Mala's home, is seems to have turned the process up to a much more intense degree. Mm. To the point where Saskia was going to go and buy our lithium weapons right last night. Um, at the risk of uh, asking the obvious here, um... How did, I mean, we'll have to uh, ask this off of when she wakes, but how, how did she know that that was a thing? I don't know. I don't know. She just came in when you were asleep. I was just about to go to sleep and started telling me about the homeless family she wanted to give 149 gold to, which was obviously a lie, and then told me that it was because she wanted to buy this really cool weapon which was obviously a lot more true. And I was a bit worried because she was saying that, you know, she had to get it right now and there was a time limit on it and it seemed kind of shady because it was the middle of the night, but she was really insistent. So I thought I should probably go with her. And I think me being there made it all go bad. Yeah, of course. Well, objectively dealing with weapon smugglers is a terrible idea anyway, but... um... Can you make any heads or tails out of this, Alexi? And I pull the papers out and hand them to him. So you see a burnt scroll. It's about two thirds sort of remained and the rest is sort of charred and stained. Um, but on quick inspection, it looks like it is in some sort of cipher. Uh, and so you would need to attempt to try and figure it out, which you are more than welcome to do. This is going to take me some time, but yeah, you will try it. Cool. Yeah. Cool, make a general intelligence check, please. Um, D22 can help you as well if you I, He would probably request D22's help because it's D22. Happy to apply. So you can both roll or one of you can roll with advantage. Just general intelligence. General intelligence, yeah. Should we go one each? Um, what are you? Uh, you're short. I know you're smarter than I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you one have it. Happy to help. Uh, oh dear. Um, it's 12. Okay. Uh, I'll roll one. 10. 
10. So looking at it, you can't quite figure it out. It's still quite early, still waking up, but you feel like you're missing enough to really make out what the cipher says at this point. And for now... Sorry, I'm really, really sorry. It was a 15. Because plus... I, because I've minused it rather than... So 6, six plus 9, it's 15. 15. Yeah. Still doesn't quite manage to cut it. <laughs> yeah. D22 has a really good go, but without the rest of the paper, it doesn't look like at this point you're quite able to figure it out. Gotcha. Unless you take a lot more time to do it. Uh, Alexa will probably take the time that is required. Cool. Yeah. Um, but sort of as he's working on it he will also say um, but I do need to leave this town yeah. um, because you need to eat or because because they're the at at attendance home. hurt and there is a chance that someone might be coming um, for, feed, for food for you does it need to be a person or could it be an animal animal is Fine. Okay. I can probably convince one. Or at least, like, help you get one. Considering, um, and I'm, 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 I'm not the best at uh, detecting tone anyway, uh, you sound like your heart is literally breaking to say the <laughs> words, so... Um, That's smarter than what I was thinking. G20 looks at his compass. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're going to Guy, not me. Guy. Okay, it's like, going to whisper something. Once again, we... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just going to keep saying things. That so, great. yeah, and, yeah. you know, now I don't have to anymore. Fantastic. Cool, carry on. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh. oh. oh God. My heart. My oh, God. Heart. Thank you. My soul. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> well, um. we can't leave the city, so I can't get out to find an animal. Can I, all right. Mm. Oh, mm. Could, 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 I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, could we feed you? I can do it without uh, it killing you. Oh, I'd much prefer that to getting you to an animal. Yeah. But it I, will, I would have thought it will be a singularly painful experience. Yeah, but that's better than killing an animal. Uh, well, yeah, yes, but it, it, I, there's a, there's start, a lot of like take off my coat and start rolling, like unbuttoning the sleeve. Oh, also apparently I'm not even doing it, so it. <laughs> I, I, I mean both, both so that, Is that we. That I don't know what. I just don't want to be at you know half kilter, but we need if if he hurts someone or kills an animal in the town and they find the body, then suddenly everyone's gonna go around looking for what did it. To I mean, clarify that's... a point, I have done this before. Eaten people? I don't doubt it. No, as in without <laughs> killing them. And back home, we, we, we have uh, certain uh, thralls that we keep. If you thrall me. <laughs> no, not, 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 not like, um, it's not like mind control. Essentially like a, a, a servant that is no. there to be... It would be, it, it's essentially like, uh, it's no different to someone keeping, say, a, a pig or something to, to, to eat it later on. That's, and, um, you know. Hey, we... that's weird to me. I. All right. If Look, we I'm, give I'm... you something, will this happen to us? What? Will, will, will no, we... no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not explaining it properly. Basically, what I'm saying is the people that we, um, the, we feed on, that we don't kill, they are severely weakened. It, it, it's not just, like, taking a bit of a beating or something. Okay. You will be weaker. I understand. I will let you feed off me. I literally can't. You don't have any blood. Rude. <laughs> okay. Um, how weakened, because we... Saskia How rolls over and goes, guys, can you just keep it down a little bit, please? I... Alexi just glares her. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi, do you need do you need to drink the blood from a per you have the flask, right? Uh, the flask is empty. Okay, but one of us could bleed into it. Yes, that is. And then you don't have to do whatever the thrally no, thing no, okay, is. Right. Thrall okay, is the but wrong the word. bad the bad stuff. Yeah, it would hurt. You'll still be Drained though, you're losing a lot of blood. 
That we, happened quite recently a couple times. Yeah. You are welcome to try if you so wish. I just want to know that I'm not going to end up with some kind of You're not disadvantage going. on the next day, in the next couple of days. <laughs> no, I think you will. I think that's the... I but think if that, we go half and half, then maybe not? That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's wishful thinking. Can um, I help? I kind of got us in this situation. I feel like... Look, okay, if one of you volunteers, one of you is going to be severely weakened. Mm. I can, I can, I know you're worried about the, the animal body being discovered, but I can, I, I could, con, you know, convince like something no one's going to ah! miss. That one's bad. Hmm? What? No. Do you? you what okay? happened? Yeah. What no. was that? What was that? What? Nothing. What is that? I. I didn't realise I did anything. Sorry. You. You. Just literally just. Ah. <laughs> you just yelled. Excuse me. Sorry. That's all right. Nice hat, by the way. Thank you. Very, it's very lethal. Yeah. yeah. More ways than one. <laughs> All right. Maybe uh, maybe an animal is better, but I, I don't really understand how that works. But yeah. what do you mean? How I do yeah, it? How are you going to summon an animal? Like pew, poof. Oh magic? no! I can just go um, find animals and convince them that we're not going to hurt them and bring them back. Oh. <laughs> D. Mm. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm struggling with it too, buddy. <laughs> Did Donovan Damale not fix you appropriately? I am fine. Perhaps my new hat is just taking time to get used to. Right. All right. Can, can I roll inside check? Absolutely. You can roll inside check on that. Yeah, I'm also yeah, Deception yeah, disadvantage, yeah, please, mate. Thank you. <laughs> this is not like... Natural 20. Oh. Uh, 14. Uh, 24 dirty. 19. 19. Mm. Okay. Oh, those two still fucking up. Yeah, I'm so... Like, oh, he's mad. <laughs> it's a good line, <laughs> but yeah, something's definitely up with him. Um, I, I think we have enough deception in this party already. If you don't tell us what it is, we, we, we can't help. Something tells me that using the defenseless animal to feed on is a bad idea. <laughs> right. I... It makes me feel bad inside. This is, this is going to happen a lot. Is this going to be a problem? Now I have moral compass, I might feel these things more often. So you'd rather I... Kill a person. You wait, that's a moral compass? Yes, it, it, I, mm. Oh, we found a moral compass. Mm. Moral compass recommends killing person <laughs> over animals. I'm sorry, is that Mala speaking right there? Definitely kill person over <laughs> animals. Um, all right. All right, they're talking far too loudly for Saskia to be getting any sleep. So she sort of sits up really grumpy and goes, fine, edgy vampire boy, just fucking bite already. At the end of the day, if anyone's gonna be weaker, we need you guys to be stronger. If we come across anything, just fucking do it already. Yeah. It's a one time off lad. All right. Uh, do you want us to turn around? I was going to say, <laughs> you all might wish to turn around. We need to find a better way for you to be able to eat in the future. Though. Oh, I, I'm aware. This is why I don't... Can we call it drinking rather than eating? Fine, drinking. Is that, thank you. Um, all right, is yeah. it loud? <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, need a straw? <laughs> uh, well, no, the, the, the fangs themselves have uh, the appropriate uh, equipment in built. So you won't... Not exactly. There's a certain... You know, it's going right, to sound okay. like when you're at the just, end of like a um, thing with... A... Hold your arm out. Try not to move. You may wish to bite down on something. I put... Yeah. No, no. <laughs> bit of leather in her now. And Alexi will... One hand on the wrist. <laughs> one hand on the upper arm. I watch. <laughs> I, okay. I respect everyone's privacy in this and will happily just sort of like... 
You doing it? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, so, I need two things. Oh, actually, I'll roll this. Oh. So, oh, hang on, I've got to take up my table. Oh, you got tiny teeth. <laughs> oh, God, no, they go deep. <laughs> Just through the arm. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah, see? Inside. Yeah. You, yeah, I've got it here. I've rolled it for you. Uh, okay. You get one unit of blood from okay. Saskia. Okay. Because I rolled. Because it's, it's a 1d6 minus 2 on a medium. Yeah. Yep, I rolled a 3. Okay. So that's that. Right. So I'll find another day. Roll a constitution saving throw, please. 10. So, you bite down. Mm-hmm. And you're not getting a lot. What? Also, sorry, I've got to ask, what does it taste like? Does it taste like, what does it seem like? Dirty. What do I taste like? Dirt blood people. What was it you said before? They smell Poor people like taste dirty. like dirt. No, what does what does Sasuke taste like? Come on. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me? Wait, no, I need I need to ask you something first. Go on. <laughs> la, 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 la. No, I'm like, is, yeah, is she a virgin? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a famous thing with vampire law. Really? Virgins <laughs> taste better than uh, Sully people. <laughs> Any Sully? <laughs> <laughs> vampire law. Do you watch um, what's Sorry. it called? What we do in the shadows. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. What does Sasuke taste like? Fucking delicious. Yes! <laughs> like, worryingly so. Oh, God. Cool. Oh, no. So, uh, you drink, uh, and I you don't get... Just but one unit. You've been going for a little bit, yeah. but... After about five seconds, and you only get a unit in, Sasuke, you begin to feel a little woozy, and you collapse. And that's when we get into tonight's episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can I try and catch her before she hit the floor? Sure. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you catch her. Yeah. yeah just for yeah. Not, not like a clap, just like. This is what I like watching. I was like, so I just clutch her and like. And you guys watch and Saskia down. falls into Mayway's arms. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Great. <laughs> that, had, that had everything. That was a yeah, good that, 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 that was a so time. many follow up questions. There's going to be a lot. We'll save, it. we'll save it for the next one. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a break. <gasps> oh, no. I, oh, wait, no, I need no, to I ask you a bunch of stuff in private. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, me too. I just realized. Yeah, yeah anyway. I know why as well. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Oh, I, don't I went know. in the wrong no, direction. Exactly. <laughs> I went in the wrong direction. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, yeah. Good, good, good first episode. Be back in 2022. Uh, check us out. Links in the description, as well as the amazing people, uh, artists, musicians, etc. Uh, cool. Until next time, thanks for watching You Lose Your Dice. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. All right. Cool. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.